is touching the truth. Name, Barbarossa Kaishu, Race, Oni, Identity, Captain of Beasts Pirates, Talent, Reinforced Iron Bones, Ghost Body, Immortal Body, Immortality, Devil Fruit, Superhuman Human Fruit, Model, Undead Titan, Plus, Hockey, Conqueror Hockey, Advanced, Armament Hockey, Peak, Observation Hockey, Peak, Dot. Captain's Exclusive Ability, True Sight, Commander, Influence Level, 1, Evolution Source, 33, more than 4,000 pirates were conquered at one time, providing Kaishu with 30 evolution sources. System, how can there be only 30 evolutionary sources? A pirate from the new world that survived two rounds of eliminations, how can they not be regarded as excellent? Kaishu originally thought that this time, the evolution source would usher in explosive growth, not to mention thousands of points. There must be hundreds of points, right? But now there are only 30 points. With the passage of time, when the host strength becomes stronger, the influence level increases, etc., the conditions for subduing excellent crew members to obtain evolution source will also increase. Kaishu looked confused, what do you mean? Ding to put it simply, when a person's deposit is less than 100, 000 belly, he will think that the one who owns 1 million belly is rich. But what if he got more money? You mean to say that my strength has changed dramatically from the beginning? so the standard of excellent crew members has also increased. Kaishu recalled and asked confirmingly. Ding yes. But it's not just about strength. The passage of time, influence, and territory will all lead to an increase in the standards of the crew. After listening to the system's answer, Kaishu felt that he had lost 100 million. No, he lost 1 billion evolution sources if he had known that there were such rules, he would have subdued a large number of crew members when he first got the system. But then again, in this crisis-ridden sea, if there are opportunities to enhance your strength, no matter who you ask, they immediately want to improve themselves first. Besides, it would be impossible for him to have such a high attraction level if he didn't have admiral-level strength. Naturally, there is no such a big appeal that can gather so many pirates. And if he doesn't have the strength, let alone the ability to subdue these pirates, if Golden Lion and Burndy World come that time, he can't deal with them. So, it seems to be stuck in an endless loop. There seems to be no bug in the system, and it is destined to be like this. Because the system also said not only strength. Even if he knew it in advance, and instead of improving his strength, he would focus on subduing those pirates with a lot of potential. But, when the strength reaches a certain level, the result will remain the same. Thinking of this, he feels better. What can he do? He can only comfort himself like this. System, how much evolution source do I need to evolve my devil fruit ability? Looking at the 33 points of evolution source he possessed, Kaishu's eyes shone with fiery light. Ding, the second evolution of the mythical Zoan devil fruit needs to meet two conditions, first, 50 points of evolution source. Second, the current devil fruit has reached the awakened level. Kaishu was taken aback. He didn't expect to evolve his devil fruit again, the evolution source was ten times more expensive than last time, and there was one more condition. I have to develop the undead titan fruit until it awakens. After evolving it, would I have to develop my devil fruit again? Kaishu frowned slightly while asking. Ding the power of the devil fruit after the second evolution, even if it has just evolved can be compared to the awakened undead titan fruit. Kaishu couldn't help being surprised, it's so scary dash, the undead titan fruit that has not yet been awakened can make Kaishu comparable to top admirals. From this, it can be imagined that once the undead titan fruit is awakened, Kaishu may be able to match Zebek's strength. You know, the current Kaishu is only at the mid-level admiral level. Meanwhile, Zebek's strength completely surpassed that of the admiral level. Think about it. How strong would he be once his strength is further improved in a few years and his devil fruit is awakened? How terrifying would it be after evolving the undead titan fruit again? Invincible, so scary at the same time, when the beast's pirates are in full swing for the Cadre knockout match. All major forces in the sea have received information about the beast's pirates. Marine headquarters, in the Marine Ford. In the large meeting room, except for the vice admirals guarding important branches, almost everyone was present and talking with serious faces. 
After Fleet Admiral Kong arrived with Great Staff Officer Tsuru, the conference room fell silent, and everyone looked at Fleet Admiral Khan. I believe everyone already knows that just yesterday, Beast's pirates recruited a group of pirates in New World, and their influence has expanded greatly. After sorting out the documents, Fleet Admiral Kong continued speaking solemnly, and, according to the battle situation and intelligence analysis, the strength of the two brothers, Kaishu and Kaido, has reached the level of Admiral. When they heard this, all the Marines present were shocked. What does Admiral stand for? That is the highest combat power of the world government, the Barbarossa brothers are still so young. How could they have such terrifying strength? Burndy World was defeated by Azure Dragon, Kaido. According to the information, it has been determined that Burndy World has joined the Beast's pirates. Shiki the Golden Lion and Kaishu the Beast also had a fierce battle, and the result was a draw. So the current Beast's pirates can even be compared with the three overlords of the sea. Fleet Admiral Kong's words made the entire meeting room fall into silence. All the marines were so shocked by this news that they could not speak. Each of the three pirate overlords, even the marine headquarters, must be cautious. Now, this beast's pirates, which has been established for less than a year, has grown to such a degree. Damn pirate! Zephyr clenched his fist and looked at the photo angrily. When he was in God's Valley, he saw Kaishu's potential. But he didn't expect him to become one of the marine's strongest enemies so quickly. Kaishu and Kaido, why do these monsters become pirates? Admiral Sengoku looked at the information in his hand with a headache. This time, even Garp, who has always been carefree, attended the meeting with a serious face. Dragon, who was in the corner of the conference room, looked at the information about Kaishu and the beast pirates with shining eyes. With Kaishu's ambition and the strength of the beast pirates, he and Golden Lion will clash sooner or later. We can only increase the bounty of the beast pirates for the time being. Great Staff Officer Tsuru said indifferently. The current beast pirates have already developed and are no longer the pirate group that the marine headquarters can send a few people to encircle and suppress. Although they are not reconciled, marine has no choice but to accept the fact that the beast's pirates have risen. At the end of the meeting, they discussed the subsequent impact of this incident, the new bounty amount of beasts pirates. At the territory of the Whitebeard pirates, on the Moby Dick. Whitebeard takes a few sips of wine while looking at the newspaper in his hand. Pops. Marco wanted to say something but was interrupted by Whitebeard's laugh. Goo la 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 Golden Lion is at a disadvantage, and Burndy World also joined the beast pirates. That brat is really not simple. Whitebeard looked at the newspaper while speaking calmly. Goo la 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 la. Whitebeard suddenly burst out laughing. Pops. Whitey Bay and the others all looked serious. What are you worried about? It's just repelling Golden Lion. So what if that lunatic Burndy world joins? I'm Whitebeard. Whitebeard roared. His tone was extremely confident. Whitebeard, who is in his prime, is not afraid of anyone. Not to mention Kaishu, even if the two overlords of the sea, Golden Lion and Roger, join forces, Whitebeard is not afraid and will still face them confidently. That's right, Pops is the strongest man Dash, it's just a brat, and I already defeated him in the past, and so would be in the future. Pops is the strongest. Our Whitebeard pirates are the strongest Dash, O Dash, on the Oro Jackson, the Roger pirates. Ha 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 ha. Cheers everyone Dash, Rayleigh, you have to be happy when we're having a party. Come and drink. Roger, you idiot, our treasures are running out, and we don't even have the money to buy supplies, but you still have the mood to hold a banquet. Ah. Ha ha ha, let's talk about those things later. The most important thing now is the banquet, the banquet. That's right. Rayleigh, don't be so serious. It's a party now. Cheers Dash, oh Dash, hey, Rayleigh sighed tiredly, then he took the wine glass handed by Gabon and drank it with a gudong sound. Ha ha ha, that's right Dash, Roger, who was already flushed from drinking, put his arms around Rayleigh's shoulders like a child, then he picked up the wine bottle with the other hand and filled Rayleigh's glass again. By the way, Kaishu's beasts pirates have been very active recently. A large number of pirates from the New World were recruited yesterday, and that lunatic Burndy world was also subdued. The most important thing is that he beat that bastard back. While sitting on the deck, 
Gabon reads the newspaper while taking a couple of sips of wine from time to time. Shiki got knocked back. Where? Let me see. Hearing Gabon's words, Roger pushed Rayleigh away beside him, and then he moved over excitedly. Ha ha ha, that guy is really capable. Roger laughed happily when he saw some exaggerated news in the newspaper. They have been at odds with Golden Lion. So, seeing their old opponent suffer. How could Roger be unhappy? Stupid, shouldn't you care about Kaishu and Kaido more? They get stronger too fast. Rayleigh punched Roger in the head while cursing. Roger didn't care at all. He carelessly touched the big bulge on his head and said with a smile, The sea is so interesting, isn't it? Ha ha ha. At the Tato land. One month is enough for the big mom pirates to successfully occupy the area here. At the whole cake island. Although her body is still bumpy, however, her face looks ferocious while she's eating snacks. Mama. At this time, Perispero walked in with two pieces of paper in his hand while sweating profusely. Perispero, is there a new bounty for me? Big Mom didn't stop eating but just glanced at her eldest son and said indifferently. This sentence made Perispero even more frightened, and his body couldn't help but tremble. However, he didn't dare to not answer, so he replied while trembling, for the time being. Not yet. It may be that the news from here has not been received by the Marine yet. Big Mom frowned, but thinking of the deep sea vortex and turbulent currents in the Sea of Tato Land, she nodded in agreement, then she took a bite of the cream puff and continued to ask, Then are there any new news about those two little brat? Yes. Perispero swallowed his saliva while cold sweat dripped from his forehead as he replied with gritted teeth. Um, dash, Big Mom finally stopped eating, and then a cold light flashed in her eyes. Only then did she notice the bounty in Perispero's hand and said coldly, show it to me. Perispero walked carefully to Big Mom and handed over the two latest bounties. After Big Mom took it, she immediately saw Kaishu's photo, which made her uncomfortable. Beast, Barbarossa Kaishu, Captain Beast's Pirates, age, 23 years old, bounty, 2, billion belly, wanted dead or alive. Azure Dragon, Barbarossa Kaido, Beast's Pirates Deputy Captain, age, 21 years old, bounty, 2, billion belly, wanted dead or alive. Then, a terrifying conqueror hockey spread across the whole Cake Island in an instant, and many homies and civilians fainted without knowing what had happened. Feeling the boundless oppression at this moment, Perispero bent down, panting while sweating profusely. Damn it, forget about Kaishu, and now even Kaido's bounty is higher than mine. What are those trash marines doing? Dash, Big Mom crushed the bounty in her hand and said with a ferocious face. Zeus. Mama. Zeus the thundercloud floated naively in front of Big Mom, and Big Mom jumped on it. Mama, where are you going? Perispero asked hastily. I'm going to destroy the nearby marine branch. Look at those useless marines. They dare to look down on me. With that said Zeus the thundercloud quickly left the whole cake island with Big Mom. On the other side, on an island near Wano. Bang dash, ah. Ah ah. Ha ha ha, this will be the sight of our beast's pirates from now on. The flames are soaring, and the artillery fire is roaring. Gideon the Cataclysm, go to the tallest building on this island and hang the beast pirate's flag on it while announcing loudly. The same thing happened on many islands near Wano, and the forces near the Wano were quickly annexed by the beast's pirates. In just a few days, the Wano Sea area was completely cleaned up, and the sea seemed to be dyed red. A large number of casualties were caused in a few days, and many rebellious pirate groups and disobedient island residents were wiped out. Even some islands were destroyed. This also made Bullet see how scary, cruel, domineering, and unreasonable the beast's pirates are. Because of the arrival of the beast pirates, the sea area of Wano has been officially renamed the Sea of Beasts. After the beast's pirates took down all the territories in the Sea of Beasts, they did not continue to expand but digest the acquired territories. This time, the crew members of the beast's pirates show their terrifying strength for the first time. The terrifying strength makes people dare not go one step closer. Even Achiku, who was hunting down Gideon, chose to keep things quiet after knowing that he had joined the beast pirates. Name, Barbarossa Kaishu, Race, Oni, Identity Captain of Beasts Pirates, Talent, 
reinforced iron bones, ghost body, immortal body, immortality, devil fruit, superhuman human fruit, model, undead titan, plus, hockey, conqueror hockey, advanced, armament hockey, peak, observation hockey, peak, dot. Captain's exclusive ability, true sight, commander, influence level, 2, evolution source, 33, Kaishu's influence level has been raised again, and one more item has been added to the same auxiliary props. Actual combat training room, you can simulate the opponent you want to fight against. The battlefield is covered with a rule protective shield. No matter how intense the battle is, you won't die. The cooling time is one month. The price is one billion belly, and each time you use it, you need to pay an additional price according to the strength of the simulated opponent. Kaishu bought one without hesitation, and he found that this item was a bottomless pit, simulating an admiral level opponent still needs 100 million belly. But I have to say, it's very practical. You don't worry about dying in it, and just like its name, it is the best place for actual combat training. It's just that the cooling time is a bit long, and everyone has to wait for a month after using it once. Kaishu still remembers when he introduced this training room to Kaido and the others. They were so shocked that their eyes were about to pop out. This is completely beyond their imagination. Even after the actual combat, Queen lay on the floor of the room and studied every corner of it like crazy. If Kaishu hadn't stopped him with his fist, Queen would have dismantled the actual combat training room for research. This thing is worth a billion belly, and Kaishu couldn't bear to dismantle it. He knows that with the scientific research level of Pirate World, it is basically impossible to replicate this auxiliary item. However, Kaishu only disclosed this thing to Kaido and the others who have reached a certain level of loyalty. As for the rest of the crew, including Burndy World, nothing was disclosed. He could not rely on the evolution source to increase Burndy World's loyalty. So, he could only rely on the captain's exclusive ability, Commander, to increase his loyalty little by little. Kaishu will disclose these secrets to the other crew members until their loyalty reaches 90. For several months, the beast's pirates fell silent. They digest their conquered territory, improve their strength, do business with the underworld, and trade sea stone and various materials. The strength of beast's pirates is increasing step by step. Especially Gion, Bullet, and King. They are in the stage of rapid growth. Moreover, with the three auxiliary items and various resources, their strength that has yet to reach the bottleneck will naturally improve quickly. And the new year was over not long ago, and they were one year older. A slash N, One Piece doesn't seem to celebrate the new year, so I won't get into it. The sky was covered with thick, dark clouds that stretched endlessly into the distance. With an extremely gloomy and oppressive atmosphere, the world seems bleak. Boom dash, crack. Silver-white lightning flashed like a snake from time to time in the clouds, and then they intertwined in the air, forming bolts of lightning with a length of hundreds of meters. Dense lightning that carries a terrifying power intertwined in the sky. The terrifying sight of lightning flashing across the sky strikes fear into the hearts of those who see it. Ho! Deep and powerful roars sounded from time to time between the extremely dense clouds. Boom dash, in the sky, the bolts of lightning with a length of hundreds interweave suddenly, forming a thunderbolt that's several meters thick. Like a divine spear from the sky, it slammed down in an instant and hit a tall figure in the center of the island. Bang dash, boom. Lightning several meters thick bombarded the figure relentlessly, with a terrifying power enough to split the mountain and destroy everything. Well, I felt a little numb. The demon-like body flickered in the lightning barrage, but he didn't even have the slightest bit of damage. It's a pity that it's useless. Too strong body is not good. Kaishu speaks in a low voice, with some dissatisfaction. When it comes to becoming stronger, Kaishu has never slacked in doing so. The sea is extremely vast, and there are countless strong people. His own strength is far from being invincible. If he doesn't have stronger power, he might be torn apart by the covetous world government. After all, the world government with more than 800 years of history is not so easy to mess with. It's a pity that Kaishu's body is really too strong now. Even after Kaido charged his attack for a long time, the attack that could even kill an elite vice-admiral could only make him feel numb, and it had no other effect on him at all. This undoubtedly frustrated Kaishu's idea of using lightning to train his body, and he was a little distressed. By the way, can I do that? 
Suddenly, Kaishu's eyes lit up as if he had thought of something. Kaido, another thunderbolt. Kaishu shouted loudly at the dragon hovering above. All right dash, Kaido controlled the lightning in the air to intertwine, and then after, it formed a huge thunderbolt. He smashed it down. Bang dash, the thunderbolt, which is thicker than before, once again slammed towards Kaishu. At this moment, Kaishu's eyes were full of madness, and he transformed into a beast form in an instant. Then he opened his big mouth and directly swallowed the terrifying thunderbolt several meters thick into his stomach. How violent is the lightning? In mythology, it is the most powerful power among gods, and it's the most terrifying punishment from heaven. Ordinary people, even the top powerhouses, dare not touch lightning directly with their bare bodies. Kaishu actually directly swallowed the extremely violent thunderbolt into his stomach. If others saw this scene, they would think that Kaishu was trying to die. Crackling. Zizi, hiss dash, the thunderbolt is so violent that it makes Kaishu feel the long lost severe pain again. He feels like the inside of his body is being torn apart, which is so unbearable. Wo dash, a mouthful of blood was spat out by Kaishu on the ground. At this moment, the scarlet blood is so dazzling. Even though Kaishu's internal body is very tough. Like under ten times the gravity, he just feels a little uncomfortable. Or if he had fallen from a height of ten, zero 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 meters, he would not have been damaged in the face of the terrifying impact. Showing how tough Kaishu's internal body is. But no matter how tough it is, it is impossible to endure the damage from lightning, like his external body does. Facing the extremely violent lightning, Kaishu, who had a strong defense, was also injured, and the injury was quite serious. Kaishu could even feel his internal organs and blood vessels being torn apart. The severe pain made his face turn pale, and the cold sweat dripped out. But at this moment, his talent, immortality, and strong physique let his original damaged body recover at an astonishing speed. In just a couple of minutes, he was back to normal. He didn't feel the pain for a long time, and his internal organs had already recovered. And with the recovery from his injury, Kaishu's internal body has become more tougher. It really works. Kaishu grinned, and then he clenched his fist while facing the sky before standing up. Elder brother, are you alright? Seeing Kaishu spitting out blood, Kaido lowered his head and asked. Yeah ha ha ha. I'm good. Keep going dash, the madness in Kaishu's eyes was even worse, and he shouted excitedly at Kaido. Oh dash, Kaido didn't ask too much. He knew how strong Kaishu's physique was. Kaido once again controlled the lightning to frantically gather, causing a dazzling and terrifying thunderstorm in the sky. Boom dash, the terrifying thunderbolt smashes down again, illuminating the entire sky. The terrifying thunderbolt could be clearly seen on the entire island, which was then swallowed by a man like a demon god. This scene is so shocking, in the actual combat training room. Divine Departure Dash, One Sword Style, Snow Moon Sakura Flower. Gion stared firmly at Roger's jet black flying slash as she gripped Kanpira tightly with both hands. Then Frost condensed on the blade as she let out a yell, unleashing a silver white flying slash. Boom! Two razor sharp flying slashes, one black and one white intersected while lightning raged around, but despite the intense battle, the platform remained unscathed. Even the shock wave that was enough to shatter the ground was absorbed by an invisible protective shield. King and Bullet, standing under the battle platform, were not affected at all and watched the battle above intently. Finally, within a few seconds of the stalemate, the silver white flying slash shattered, and the black flying slash flew towards Gion undiminished. Damn dash, originally, with Gion's speed, the few seconds of stalemate were enough for her to dodge several times. But Gion didn't dodge or evade, she clenched her teeth and raised her sword with a firm expression. Boom dash, when the flying slash collided with her sword, Gion only felt a huge force in her hand, and her body involuntarily fell back more than 10 meters. Break it. Gion disregarded her bleeding palms and many torn wounds on her body and continued to hold on. Finally. She felt that the force in her hand was no longer so powerful, and the surrounding air seemed to stagnate. Hu hu, suddenly, she heard another humming sound of flying slash. This is. Another attack is coming. Gion clenched the handle of her sword with both hands and slashed down fiercely. Pang, 
the incoming flying slash shattered once again, and the atmosphere seemed to neigh. Divine departure, opening the sky. But before Guillaume could be happy, a more terrifying slash magnified in her pupils. Tear, the slash passed through Guillaume's body and was absorbed by the shield behind. Ah, Guillaume knelt down on one knee while spitting out a mouthful of blood. She felt the breath of death just now. If it was outside, she would really be dead. However, there will be no deaths or even hidden injuries in the combat training room, only serious injuries and defeats. With Guillaume's inability to fight anymore, Roger's figure slowly disappeared. Miss Guillaume. Big sister. King and Bullet ran up while looking at Guillaume with concern. I'm fine. I've gained a lot this time. You guys practice well. I'll go back and summarize my realization. Guillaume's pale face slowly regained its color after taking a stamina potion, and when she stepped off the battle platform, it seemed that some kind of power had repaired the hidden wounds in her body. Although her body is still injured, it is much better than before. The process of recovering from injury is also a kind of physical improvement, it's my turn. I'm going to fight Vice Admiral Jack from the Marine Headquarters. Bullet skillfully took out 50 million belly, and when the belly in his hand disappeared, a short man in marine clothes appeared on the fighting platform. I'm going down first, so be careful. Don't worry, I won't be defeated so easily this time. Up. Bang dash, bang. Boom. On the fighting platform, a new round of fighting began. Time passed unknowingly, and five years had passed in the blink of an eye. The boundless sea will never be attracted to a certain person or thing for a long time. Almost every day, Various bounties are issued, with some powerful pirates being offered a new bounty or some pirates being arrested. And in these short five years, many powerful pirates have risen. They stir up a boundless wind and cloud in the whole sea. Kaishu has been in this world for more than 20 years, and now he is a 29 year old man. Today's Kaishu is more mature than before. Without the wanton aura from five years ago, he is more restrained now. He gives people a kind of calm and prestigious feeling without any momentum, so that people dare to look directly at him. 19,997 19,998 19,999 20,000 No matter how many times I watch it, Captain's training always surprises me. Five years later, Queen's figure is even more bloated, with a chubby body and a pair of short legs. This is what Captain said, the gap in will. King looked at the man who was practicing in the distance with admiration. Physical training is the most time-consuming, boring, and arduous process. Most people would rather fight a battle than grind their bodies all the time. Although fighting is the best way to improve strength. But a strong physique raises your lower and upper limits at the same time. Physical fitness is the foundation of everything. The stronger the foundation, the higher the upper limit. Humph, he's a complete monster. Burndy World, who was covered in bandages, drank rum unhappily. Pfft, World, I heard that two days ago, you were beaten to pig-headed by Captain again for challenging him. Queen looked at Burndy World, who was covered in a bandage like a mummy, with a smile. Bastard. Burndy World shouted angrily, but Chinjo and the others laughed at him. More than five years is enough time for Burndy World and the more than four, zero 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 pirates who just joined to be loyal to Kaishu. Woo, the strong wind howled, blowing the sky full of snow as it enveloped the whole city. Looking around, the whole world seems frozen by the vast ice and snow. This is Elmer, a country located in the New World. But at this time, the capital city of Elmer is no longer as prosperous as it used to be. The whole city looked dilapidated, frozen by the cold ice. The freezing ice caused the surroundings to transform, blanketing the sky and earth with snow and painting them a dazzling expanse of whiteness. In the snow-covered city, frozen corpses with different expressions can be seen everywhere. These are people who were directly frozen into ice sculptures because of their strong resistance. Da da da. The crisp, high-heeled shoes reverberated in the city. Wearing a long white skirt and a pink cloak, the black high-heeled shoes stepped on the snow-frozen ground, which was extremely conspicuous. It was the snow catastrophe, Gion. Today's Gion is the beast pirate's catastrophe that resounds throughout the sea. Gion-sama, all rebels have been suppressed. 
At this moment, a pirate wearing a thick cotton coat ran over and said respectfully to Gion. While looking at Gion, he didn't dare to show any disrespect and was full of awe and fear. The incomparably beautiful woman in front of her, who exudes a cool and royal temperament, is the top cadre of the beast's pirates. Wherever she went, there was heavy snow flying everywhere, which gave her the title of snow catastrophe by the world. Um. While nodding her head, Gion had no expression on her face, her voice was cold, without any fluctuation in her tone, like a goddess of ice and snow. It is impossible to tell that she is the kind of pirate who will not blink her eye even if she freezes a country and kills hundreds of thousands of people. Um. Suddenly, Gion frowned. A trace of displeasure flashed across her face, and she said coldly. You can't even do your job properly. Her words were so cold that they almost froze the person before her. Gion Sama. What does this mean? The pirate stammered, his body was trembling, and he was almost unable to hold himself due to the strong cold. Snort dash, without saying a word, Gion snorted coldly. Then she raised her hand, pulled out the sword from her waist, and directly slashed towards the house tens of meters away. Boom dash, bang. The tall building collapsed immediately, and the sky was filled with snowflakes and ice. Amidst the falling rocks, a boy with a sharp eye while holding a sword jumped out. That's it. Gion said coldly in the stunned expression of the pirate and then walked directly towards the boy. Dracul Myhawk, who is only eleven years old, has extraordinary skills and superb swordsmanship. He even defeated some pirates with millions of bounties. He is very famous in the Grand Line, am I right? Walking in front of the young man, Gion said softly, then a smile appeared on her delicate face. Snow catastrophe, Gion. No, I want to call you another title, Sakura Flower Swordswoman, Gion Dash, the young Myhawk showed a serious expression, and then he raised his sword while speaking seriously, I want to challenge you in a swordsmanship duel. When the surrounding pirates heard Myhawk's words, they all looked shocked. Stupid brat. You dare to challenge Gion Sama. You're out of your mind. It's a pity. He is obviously a swordsman with great potential. Well, I've also heard the name Myhawk before. He keeps looking for swordsmen to challenge. Myhawk ignored the mocking words around him and looked at Gion seriously. A pair of sharp eyes revealed an unprecedented fervor, while his whole body was full of fighting spirit. Gion looked at Myhawk with sharp eyes, and then she slowly retracted her sword back into its sheath before pulling out the decorative bracelet sword on her arm. Then, she looked at Myhawk and said calmly with a cold face, Unfortunately, I don't have a smaller sharp instrument than this one. Myhawk's expression changed slightly, and he said in a low tone, What do you mean? With a decorative bracelet sword in her hand, Gion said calmly, I'm sorry if I offended you. But I'm different from a stupid beast that goes all out when hunting a rabbit. In my eyes, you're still a childish brat. Myhawk's face became ugly at this moment. Gion's move is undoubtedly looking down on him. Myhawk drew out his sword and rushed forward, stop looking down on people dash, Gion's eye narrowed slightly, and then she said coldly, a frog at the bottom of the well. I'll let you see how big this world really is. Don't think that you are already so capable just because you are lucky enough to defeat two swordsmen. The sea is not a place for a brat like you to act recklessly. Myhawk shot a fierce flying slash. That's right. Myhawk, who is only eleven years old, is already a swordsman. This swordsmanship talent is enough to shock people. When Myhawk's flying slash was shattered, there was a ding sound. How? How is it possible Dash, Myhawk's eyes widened in disbelief. He saw that the flying slash he was proud of was easily shattered by Gion's decorative bracelet sword, and even the following slash was blocked. No impossible. Myhawk's sharp pupils are full of disbelief, and cold sweat flows from his forehead but is directly frozen into ice beads by the surrounding temperature. His flying slash was shattered, and his sword was directly blocked by Gion. And it is with a decorative bracelet sword. Myhawk's heart was full of disbelief at this moment, and his face was covered with a layer of frost. As expected of Gion Sama. Ha ha ha, a brat also wants to challenge Gion Sama. However, this brat has already reached the realm of cutting through steel. It's quite unbelievable. But it's too early for him to challenge Gion Sama. 
There were jeers all around, but My Hawk didn't care at all. He kept attacking Gion again. He didn't believe that the gap would be so big. But reality gave him a big slap. The gap between him and Gion is that big. It was like a moat. He's not even able to touch Gion's clothes. Only with that decorative bracelet sword did Gion completely block all of My Hawk's attacks. At this moment, My Hawk is like a child in front of Gion. Even eventually. My Hawk rushed forward resolutely, wanting to hit Gion once with the last hope. He doesn't even want to win. He just wants to land a hit, even if it's just cutting her sleeve. But. This time, he still did not make it. Because his body was already frozen, with Gion's decorative bracelet sword impaled through his chest. Blood dripped down onto the ground, creating a stark contrast against the snow. Why don't you retreat? Gion's eyes narrowed while looking at My Hawk's stubborn eyes, and then she asked in a surprised tone. My Hawk could clearly see her decorative bracelet sword pointing straight at his heart. If she didn't deviate from the angle at the last moment, the decorative bracelet sword would directly pierce through his heart. In other words, the sharp-eyed brat in front of her just now was determined to die just to land a single hit. But is that really necessary? My Hawk, who was bleeding from the corner of his mouth, was very calm at this moment. As a swordsman, I will not retreat. If I take a step back today, all the dreams I have held on to so far will disappear. I can never come back here. Even if I die, I will never back down. My Hawk said in an extremely firm tone. The corner of Gion's mouth curled up, and she looked at My Hawk with a look of approval. Since following Kaishu, she has never taken a single step back after coming all the way here. If she couldn't become stronger and follow the man who pulled her out of the abyss, she would rather die. Gion slowly retracted her decorative bracelet sword, and then she took two steps back while looking at My Hawk seriously. My Hawk, since you are willing to die, then I will do as you wish. One sword style swordswoman, Gion with Mido Black Sword, Kanpira. Gion's face became serious as she introduced herself with a swordsman's salute. This is a recognition of My Hawk and a signal for a duel between swordsmen. After more than five years of watering with blood and condensing armament hockey, Kanpira has become a black sword one sword style swordsman, Dracul Myhawk, with skillful grade blades, Thunder. Myhawk happily wiped the blood stains from the corner of his mouth and returned the favor with the same serious expression. He positioned himself for one final blow. At the same time, because of Gion, he learned a stronger move and was ready to use it at this moment. Its name Night Cut watching this scene. The surrounding pirates became more shocked. Gion Sama actually drew her sword. What is going on? Does My Hawk receive Gion Sama's approval? But looking at My Hawk like this, can he still block Gion Sama's sword? Idiot, needless to say, even if he is not injured, he can't stop Gion Sama's sword. Dash, what a courageous kid. He would rather die than retreat. Who has such courage? Ha! Huh. He's just an idiot. All the pirates were shocked to see Gion drawing her sword against My Hawk. However, their attitudes toward My Hawk are mixed. Some people praise it, while others dismiss it. And at this moment, a cold light flashed in My Hawk's eyes, and he struck Gion with a blazing green slash. This is the most powerful blow he can use. If he can't win again, then he had no choice but to die. My Hawk comes with the will to win. But in the end, Gion just slashed lightly with her black sword. The figures of the two staggered past, and then the scene became silent for two seconds. Gion stood up and scathed, without any little damage on her clothes. But My Hawk has a huge crisscross wound on his chest. In fact, even the skillful grade blades in his hand were directly broken. Looking at the thunder with only the hilt left, My Hawk's eyes were sad, and he didn't care at all about the bleeding wounds on his chest. Sure enough, I still lost. My Hawk laughed at himself. At the same time, he was also fully aware of the gap between himself and Gion. Between the two of them, it's like the difference between heaven and earth. He has no chance of defeating Gion at all now. But now that he is defeated, he is ready to die. My Hawk solemnly sheathed the sword and turned to look at Gion calmly. Gion also turned around and looked at My Hawk again in surprise, What are you doing? I'm defeated. Take my life. 
My hawk's tone was extremely calm as if he was not talking about himself at all. This is a simple sentence, but it shows my hawk's determination in swordsmanship. Even in death, he must defend the dreams and vows in his heart. Gion also had a smile on her face, it's amazing. Pucci, the blood spurted and sprinkled on the white snow. Bang! My hawk spat out a mouthful of blood with a smile on his lips, then he fell backward and lost consciousness. He didn't know that a layer of frost had condensed on his wound. Bring him back. Gion sheathed her sword and said calmly to the pirate not far away. Gion Sama. He is challenging the beast's pirates. Why not just kill him? Question mark. Gion turned her head and looked at the pirate before speaking coldly, Are you teaching me how to do things? No. I don't dare dash, the pirate trembled all over and hurriedly lowered his head to apologize. Treat him. If he dies, all of you will bury him with him. After saying that, Gion swung the cloak behind her and left without looking back. The surrounding pirates immediately ran over, hurriedly, and carefully carried the seriously injured and unconscious Myhawk back. Boom dash, click, boom dash, the lightning in the sky gathered together crazily, forming a thunderstorm that could tear heaven and the earth apart. My god, what is this dash, is this the monster we're fighting against? How could we defeat that? Countless soldiers standing in the city, holding guns and swords, all stared at the raging thunderstorm in silence. Their faces turned pale, and their feet were trembling because of extreme fright. The fools who resist to the end will be crushed under my strongest lightning. A giant white bear standing on two legs, more than twenty meters tall, controlled the earth-shattering lightning while speaking. Bullet was indifferent and controlled countless lightning to strike the city. Boom dash, ah dash, bastard. Help. Help me. I don't want to die. Along with despair and unwillingness, lightning fell from the sky, shattering all the resistance from this area. Thousands of soldiers were easily blasted into charcoal and torn into slag in front of this terrifying lightning. Coke and debris floated all over the sky, the solid city was smashed, and gravel and dust splashed everywhere. The catastrophic scene was frightening. He's too powerful, it's like a god in the legend. As expected of the thunder catastrophe, Bullet, who's one of the nine catastrophe cadres. Long live, Bullet Sama Dash, behind the giant white bear, thousands of pirates shouted excitedly. Suppress all resistance. From now on, this place will be the site of the beast's pirates. Kill all dissatisfied voices. The gigantic bear, standing upright with an indifferent expression, let out a ruthless roar. Yes. Bullet Sama. Kill Dash, suppress them and turn this place into the territory of our beast's pirates Dash, thousands of pirates, like a wave, submerged everything with irresistible force. Wherever the giant white bear with a height of more than twenty meters passes, it will crush all enemies who resist, in Wano, at Onigashima. Today's Onigashima has been transformed by Garum's cube cube fruit. The forest has dense greenery in numerous lakes and rivers, making it thrive. At the center is a spacious palace filled with members of the beast's pirates. Boom dash, with a loud noise, Kaishu put down the boulder he was carrying and untied the sea stone handcuffs at his wrist and anklets. However, the gravity bracelet on his wrist was still not taken off. Captain, it's not good dash, at this time, Simon ran over in a hurry. Kaishu wiped the sweat off his body with his fist, sat down, drank the prepared cold drink, and asked lightly, what's wrong? Who? Who? Simon calmed down his heavy breathing and said quickly, Kaido-sama is going to single-handedly challenge the Roger pirates again. Why did he say again? This is not the first time this kind of thing has happened in the past five years. When Burndy World and the other pirates were first conquered, the beast's pirates had no plan to expand because they had to digest the site they conquered. Kaido, who had just broken through in his strength, couldn't stay idle anymore and went directly to challenge the Roger pirates without saying any words. The result was no surprise. It was only Kaido who had just broken through to the admiral level after all. It didn't even take Roger to make a move to defeat Kaido, it only took Rayleigh and Gabon teaming up to beat him up. Fortunately, Kaishu arrived in time with Kaido's Viva card otherwise, Roger, that bastard, really plans to hand Kaido over to Marine in exchange for a bounty. In Roger's words, their pirate group is short of money, can you believe that the Roger pirates, one of the three overlords of the sea, 
don't even have enough money? In the end, Kaishu had to fight against Roger, Rayleigh, and Gabon to take Kaido back from Roger's pirate group. That battle also established Kaishu's status as a top powerhouse. His bounty soared to two billion in an instant. In the second year, Kaido went to trouble the Whitebeard pirates. But he was forcibly stunned by Whitebeard's devil fruit ability. Kaishu fought another battle with the Whitebeard pirates to bring him back. In the third year, Kaido found Shiki's Golden Lion Pirates at an altitude of 10, 000 meters. At this time, Kaido was not weaker than the Golden Lion, and the two fought in the sky for three days and two nights without regard for the outcome. But don't forget, the Golden Lion Pirates are the most powerful of the three pirate groups. There are more than tens of thousands of pirates under Golden Lion's command, and there are countless powerful cadres. Under the siege of Golden Lion and a group of cadres, Kaido finally exhausted his energy and was defeated. Golden Lion isn't a nice guy like Roger and Whitebeard. He was going to kill Kaido directly, but no matter what method he used, he couldn't really kill Kaido. Ordinary weapons and shelling have no effect on Kaido. Golden Lion's flying slash was able to break through Kaido's defense, but within a short while, his injuries recovered as before. After the great battle, Golden Lion also consumed a lot of physical strength. His resilience was not as good as Kaido's, so he had no choice but to throw Kaido directly to Marine Headquarters. After Kaishu got the news, he broke into Marine Headquarters directly. In that battle, the Marine Headquarters dispatched Fleet Admiral Kong, Admiral Sengoku, Admiral Zephyr, and Vice Admiral Garp. There are four strong men at the Admiral level. Kaishu kite them and let the other cadres snatch Kaido back from the Marine. In this battle, he suffered a lot of injuries. Kaishu has been called by the sea since then as the strongest monster in the world, that's right, it is the strongest monster because he is already out of the longer human league. In other words, Kaishu is not a human being. He is an oni. In his fourth year, Kaido went solo to marine headquarters. After a year of practice, Kaido has improved a lot. But, he has not yet reached the same pervert level as Kaishu, who's able to single out four strong admirals. You must know that the stronger the strength, the harder it is to improve, and some vice admirals will never be able to reach the admiral candidate level in their entire lives. What's more, at the level of admirals, Kaido can play back and forth with the two admirals, but it is already at some disadvantage. The three admirals were at a complete disadvantage, and the four admirals directly pressed Kaido's head and beat him violently. However, the marines also faced the same problem as Golden Lion. They can't kill this monster. A few days later, Kaishu broke into Marine Headquarters and took Kaido away with multiple minor injuries. Azure Dragon, Kaido has been known as the most powerful creature in the sea, land, and air since then, Kaido, that guy. Kaishu shook his head helplessly when he heard Simon's words. He now has a feeling that he and Kaido have a clear division of labor. Kaido is in charge of causing trouble, and he is in charge of cleaning the mess. It's okay. That idiot won't die anyway. Let him make trouble. Kaishu waved his hand and said casually. Kaishu would have been worried if it was a few years ago. After all, Kaido's physique hadn't developed at that time. Now, Kaido's dragon body is no longer what it used to be, and he basically can't be killed. The evolved sacred dragon is much stronger than the azure dragon in the manga. Even if Kaido's devil fruit has not yet awakened and he is thrown into the magma now, he will not die. So Kaishu has nothing to worry about. What's going on with Magnus Grand Tesoro? Kaishu asked about another matter. Magnusama Grand Tesoro has been completed and will be open soon. Magnusama said that he will never let Captain worry about money in this life. Simon said with a smile. Since Magnus is a Joel Joel fruit user, Kaishu will naturally not waste it. Like the Golden Emperor in the manga, he let him build the world's first entertainment city, Grand Tesoro. With the beast's pirates behind him, Magnus doesn't have to fear anyone. Moreover, Magnus can use the power of money to manipulate celestial dragons and even use the power of the world government. How is the establishment of Blago's intelligence department? Kaishu asked. Don't worry, Captain, with the current strength of our beast's pirates, coupled with the financial support of Magnus-sama, the intelligence department has been established very smoothly. Simon confidently replied, now, Blago already has its own intelligence network, 
which spreads all over the sea, with it being even more well known in the New World. Very good. Kaishu smiled with satisfaction. Blago is a talent good at resourcefulness and intelligence work that Kaishu recruited two years ago. He's now working in the intelligence department under him, which Kaishu is quite optimistic about. Maybe the logistics department can be handed over to him in the future. A few days later, at Onigashima. Gion-sama is back dash, hurry up and prepare to welcome Gion-sama. Gion-sama. Tap. A large ship slowly approached the port of Onigashima. The pirates who were patrolling near the port immediately ran over and stood in two rows. Tread. The moment the black high-heeled shoes stepped onto the port, all the pirates shouted in unison, Congratulations, Gion Sama Dash, Gion's cold face had no reactions at all as she walked from the middle of the neat lines of men on both sides. Behind Gion followed a kid with sharp eyes and bandages all over his body. Seeing the respectful posture of all the pirates, Mihawk, who's still underage, couldn't help but feel a little excited. After all, he is still an eleven-year-old boy. Where has he seen such a scene? Which teenager doesn't want to shine brightly and attract people's attention? Gion took Mihawk and walked towards the center of Onigashima. When the pirates along the way saw Gion, they all bowed their heads respectfully. Mihawk, who followed Gion behind, noticed the envious looks in the eyes of these pirates. Envious? Are they envious that he can stand behind Gion, the snow catastrophe? Passing through the port, they get in a gorgeous car and arrive at the palace in the center of Onigashima. The magnificent door, which was so tall that even a giant could enter unimpeded, opened slowly. Ding ding ding. Just as Myhawk followed Gion and prepared to enter the place, there was a violent running sound from outside. Gion stopped unhappily, and Myhawk followed suit. He saw a tall, round, fat man sitting on a modified four-wheeled vehicle, which was pulled by two red-skinned wild boars. Amidst the dust, it charged towards here at a high speed. Cha-Cha arriving outside the palace gate, two red-skinned wild boars rubbed their limbs against the ground. Ho-ho-ho, Miss Gion, you're back so soon. You are indeed the snow catastrophe of our beast's pirates. Queen held the cigar in his mouth and got off the four-wheeler with brisk steps. Gudong asterisk Myhawk only felt that he was completely covered by shadows. Looking at Queen, who was more than six meters tall in front of him, he couldn't help but swallow his saliva. Even though Myhawk knows that Gion's strength and status are higher than Queen's. However, the pressure from that huge body still made Myhawk, who was inexperienced in the world, feel uncomfortable. Gion glared at Queen and said flatly, You bastard, you're getting fat again. Queen, who was originally cheerful, had an abrupt change in expression as he spoke loudly, I'm not fat, I'm all muscle. I don't lose weight because I would be too popular if I lose weight. Hmm dash, Gion responded perfunctorily, turned around, and walked into the main hall. Come on, my hawk. Yes, master. My hawk reacted immediately and followed Gion's footsteps. Master? Is it quite unexpected Gion actually accepts disciples? Hearing my hawk address Gion as master, Queen's expression immediately became dull, and he stared at my hawk curiously. He wanted to see what was so special about this kid that he would make the always cold and proud Gion take him in as her disciple. Boom dash, bang dash, as soon as he walked into the palace's backyard and before he had time to look at the surrounding scenery, Myhawk heard a violent sound. Looking over to the source, he saw a handsome and burly man with curved horns on his head, holding another tall figure in the neck. Elder brother, I was wrong. Ah. Don't fight. The beaten figure soon lay on the ground with his hand covering his head while begging for mercy. Judging by the skillful movements, it is definitely not the first time he has been beaten. Stinky boy, I told you to practice hard, but you sneaked out again. The most important thing is that you lost the F asterisk CK again. You trash, I'll beat you to death. Bang dash, ah, elder brother, it's that bastard Roger who doesn't talk about martial arts etiquette. He let people besiege me. UF King dare to make an excuse. Bang dash, Myhawk only felt his scalp tingling after being hit by the shock wave, his yellow pupils widened, and cold sweat dripped from his forehead. That punch actually tore through the sound barrier. Myhawk knew clearly that with such an attack, one punch could kill him. As for the beaten figure, although he screamed again and again, 
he was full of energy, and he knew at a glance that there was no impact on him. The terrifying aura unintentionally exuded by the two figures made Myhawk feel cold hands and feet. The three stopped in place, watching from a distance and not daring to disturb the two of them. Kaishu-sama, Kaido-sama. It wasn't until Kaishu stopped that Gion walked over and greeted with a smile. Kaishu. Kaido. Myhawk's eyes widened as he finally recognized the two. Captain and first mate of the beast's pirates. The strongest monster in the world, Kaishu, the beast. The strongest creature on land, sea, and air, Azure Dragon, Kaido. These two men's names that resounded through the entire sea actually appeared before him. Oh. Gion, you're back. Are you alright? Kaishu rubbed his wrist, then he sat on the recliner with a relaxed expression and asked with a smile. It seems that after he beat Kaido violently, it made him feel much better. Gion's charming smile is like a blooming lotus, which makes people dizzy. It seems that only when facing Kaishu, will Gion bloom such a moving smile. Then, she walked behind Kaishu, massaged his shoulders, and said softly, Elmer, including several surrounding countries, have all been captured. Thanks for your hard work. Kaishu smiled appreciatively. Waro aro aro aro, if we take these countries around the Sea of Beasts, our territory will be no smaller than that bastard, Golden Lion. Kaido stood up like a normal person and said with a big smile. Queen immediately flattered him and said, You're right, Vice Captain. Captain Sama, there is one more thing. Gion suddenly said. What? Now many people in the sea call Whitebeard, Golden Lion, Roger, and you the. For Emperors of the Sea. What? For Emperors of the Sea. Kaishu secretly thought, It seems that because of my arrival, the Four Emperors layout has been advanced by more than twenty years. Is this the butterfly effect? Humph, do they think they deserve to be equal to you, elder brother? Let me teach them a lesson. Kaido first said indignantly, in his heart, no one can stand at the same height as Kaishu. Even Whitebeard, Golden Lion, and Roger are no exception. Captain, shall we express ourselves? Queen jumped up with a cruel smile on his face. He also believes that only Kaishu can stand on top of the sea. Although the beast pirates are latecomers, under the leadership of Kaishu, they have already surpassed the three former overlords. Kaishu put down his cold drink, looked in the direction of Red Line, and said with a smile, I am afraid that only the marines and the world government can make those pirates suddenly accept this title. Um. Hearing Kaishu's words, several people became thoughtful. What does Captain mean, that marine is here to make the new world messier again? Gion asked. For emperors of the sea, such recognition can make countless pirates go crazy and lose their minds. This is exactly what Marine hopes to see. The wise light in Kaishu's eyes flickered as someone who had read the manga. He certainly knew it. The throne of four emperors of the sea is the bait that the Marines threw into the fish pond to make fish fight each other. It should be said that this is the politician's means of the world government. Not only the four emperors but also the seven warlords in the near future. The purpose of the seven warlords of the sea is to supplement the combat power of the world government and balance the sea. But, more importantly, it wants to reach a compromise with non-affiliated countries. The seven warlords of the sea have the legal right to plunder, but they are not allowed to attack the countries that are affiliated with the world government. On the contrary, it is legal for non-affiliated countries to be attacked by the seven warlords of the sea. Neither the marines nor the world government will care. The world government wants to use this method to make more countries seek protection and join the ranks of the world government's affiliated countries. Despicable Marine. None of them are idiots. After listening to Kaishu's words, even Kaido, who has always been calm, became angry. But. Kaishu suddenly changed the topic and said with a sneer, although I know this is Marine's conspiracy. However, we can't remain indifferent. After Kaido recovers from his injury, you let them know who's boss in the new world. Kaishu spoke calmly, but his aura was full of tyranny. Even the other three overlords of the sea, who now have the title of the emperors of the sea, he never paid attention to them. Which one to pick? Gion asked with a smile. If you want to fight, of course, fight the strongest one. Shiki the golden lion dash, wa aro 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 aro, don't worry, elder brother, 
I will definitely teach that bastard a lesson, Kaido said confidently. Don't be careless, Kaido-sama. The power under his command is very strong. Gion reminded in a cold tone. But, even though she warned Kaido, there was no tension in her expression, only confidence. Confidence in Kaido, even more confidence in beasts pirates. Just Kaido alone is enough to give Golden Lion a headache. Not to mention that this time, Kaido won't go to Golden Lion's stronghold alone. Don't worry, I don't care about that Golden Lion now. Kaido said confidently. It might be more convincing if you don't look at his current distressed appearance. No, this time it's just to say hello. There's no need to fight to the death. Kaishu said flatly. Um. We don't lack territory now. What we lack is foundation and time. I have never regarded Whitebeard and the others as opponents. Only the world government is worthy of being our enemy. Kaishu looked sternly while speaking calmly, there is no harm to us now that there is one more force to contain the world government, and with four different forces on the sea, the world government will let down its vigilance, which is more convenient for our development. Kaishu is very aware of the shortcomings of his own pirate group. Compared with the 800-year foundation of the world government, the difference is still too far. Not to mention too much, the admiral-level powerhouse that Kaishu knows only includes five elders, Kong, Sengoku, Garp, and Zephyr. And the mysterious gods knights, this does not include the hidden combat power of the CP organization, the army on the red line, the heritage of the celestial dragon's family, the unknown treasure, and the mysterious emu. Understood, Captain. Queen nodded in agreement. Compared to the reckless Kaido, Queen still uses his brain. Seeing Kaishu standing there casually while deciding the direction of the sea, Myhawk is a little bit fascinated. Captain, let me introduce this little guy to you. Seeing that the big event was almost settled, Gion pointed at Myhawk, who was a little nervous, and said, This is my new apprentice, Dracul Myhawk. He has a high talent for swordsmanship, and now he has comprehended the realm of cutting through steel and the breath of all things. In the future, maybe he can become the strongest swordsman in the world. Hearing Gion's esteemed words, Kaido and Kaishu stared at the little guy in front of them. They know Gion very well, except for Kaishu, she treats everyone else coldly, and sometimes, she doesn't even say a word to some crew members of the beast's pirates. She has never been so optimistic about a person, let alone a kid, come to think of it, this kid named Myhawk really has amazing talents. According to what Gion said, he had already comprehended the power to cut through steel at such a young age, showing his strong talent for swordsmanship. Kaishu's eyes flashed. No wonder this kid looks so familiar. Gion really brought him a surprise, Dracul Myhawk, the man who will be called Hawk Eyes, in the future. He will indeed become the world's number one swordsman, a proper admiral level combat force. Ha ha ha, kid, you are welcome to join my pirate ship. Since you are Gion's disciple, Follow Gion first and become a trainee crew member first. Yes. The moment Kaishu stared at him, Myhawk felt his whole body trembling. Then, he forcefully suppressed his trembling body and nodded tenaciously. Seeing that Myhawk was able to speak calmly under Kaishu's aura, both Kadio and Queen's eyes sparkled. While Kaishu and the others were happily chatting, the title of four emperors of the sea spread at an extremely fast speed on the sea. It completely replaced the title of Overlord of the Sea. The four emperors who rule the sea dash, top of the pirate pyramid dash, Kaishu the Beast, Shiki the Golden Lion, Whitebeard, Edward Newgate, and Great Pirate, Roger are all famous characters dash, I should be one of the four emperors of the sea. Why is Roger part of it instead? Go, let's attack him. Time to bring Whitebeard down. He doesn't have many cadres under his command, right? I will also become one of the four emperors of the sea. Little ones, set sail. No one can tell when the title of four emperors of the sea was recognized, and the trend of defeating them began to spread. Name, Barbarossa Kaishu, race, Oni, identity, captain of beasts pirates, talent, reinforced iron bones, ghost body, immortal body, immortality, devil fruit, superhuman human fruit, model, undead titan, plus, hockey, conqueror hockey. Peak, Armament Hockey, Peak, Observation Hockey, Peak, Dot. Captain's Exclusive Ability, True Sight, Commander, Influence Level, 2, Evolution Source, 47, 
In more than five years, although the Beast's Pirates' territories have expanded a lot, his influence level has remained the same. Kaishu also didn't understand the rules for influence level, and the system didn't explain it either. It can only be said that the further you go, the harder it will be to increase. Today, Kaishu's Conqueror's Hockey has reached the peak level, coupled with powerful physical skills and various advanced hockey techniques. Even if he doesn't rely on physical strength and devil fruit ability, he has the strength of an admiral. If you add his powerful physique and devil fruit ability, Kaishu now has almost no opponents. He has completely transcended the admiral level and reached king level combat power. He has even surpassed Zebek. Of course, this does not include the hidden secrets of the celestial dragons, as well as the lord of the empty throne, Emu. Kaishu's devil fruit has been developed and has reached the edge of awakening. The battle in Marine Headquarters alone allowed Kaishu to awaken the ultimate speed. However, the further it develops, the more advanced the blood is required. Nowadays, even the blood of an elite vice admiral has no effect on Kaishu. Only the blood of the admiral level powerhouse has an effect on him. Kaido has also made great progress. After all, with his talent and the help of so many resources, his strength has improved dramatically. Although the development of his devil fruit is not as deep as Kaishu's, it should not be far from awakening. A slash n, the development difficulty of the devil fruit after the evolution has also increased accordingly. Coupled with Kaido's powerful physique and conqueror hockey, his strength has now reached the level of a high-level admiral. But his actual combat power is comparable to that of the top-level admirals. And with Kaido's current physique and resilience, even a top-level admiral would be exhausted by him if they fought for a long time. Unless, like Whitebeard, he directly stuns Kaido and makes him unconscious in an instant. Otherwise, except for Kaishu, no one in the sea can beat Kaido in a one-on-one -on -one battle. If it weren't for Kaishu's record being too amazing. The title of the strongest creature may fall on Kaido, just like in the manga. In a few days, the main ship of the beast's pirates, Erebus, left the Onigashima. Then, it navigates unscrupulously toward the territory controlled by the Golden Lion pirates. This move surprised all the forces in New World, the Erebus is the main ship of the beast's pirates, and its every sail attracts everyone's attention. Captain, you're just letting Kaido lead the team with King, Gasper, and Sebastian. That guy, Golden Lion, is quite powerful. He has more than a dozen pirate groups under his command. Gion is a little uneasy because their opponent is also one of the four emperors. And in everyone's eyes, Golden Lion Pirates is the most powerful of the four emperors. That's enough. Kaishu said calmly, with a domineering and confident tone that convinced people. Captain, are you tired? Do you want me to press your buttons? Seeing no one around, Gion suddenly changes the topic while blushing as she speaks boldly. It can be said that no one in the entire Beast's Pirates doesn't know about Gion's longing and love for Kaishu. Many pirates, including cadres, have already seen Gion as captain's woman in the future. Not to mention Gion, Kaishu, who is handsome and powerful, is the dream lover of countless women in the sea. As for body type, it seems that there is no such concern in the world of One Piece. Giants can have children with ordinary people. For example, in Beast's Pirates Cataclysm, Sebastian is a hybrid of a giant and a fishman. Big Mom even gave birth to a bunch of mixed-race kids. What's more, Kaishu has developed his devil fruit until he's about to awaken and master the life return, Saimai Kikin, making it possible for him to control his own body shape. Tired? Massage? Kaishu felt a little sweaty in his heart. Okay. Kaishu, who was just about to refuse, saw Gion's expectant eyes and unconsciously agreed. Then, Captain, let's go back. Gion's cold face bloomed instantly, such an expression could only be appreciated by Kaishu. After returning to the palace, Kaishu took a shower, put on a bath towel, and came out of the bathroom with a naked upper body. Gion, who was waiting outside, was stunned. She, who was always cold to others, turned beet red. What's wrong? Kaishu found Gion standing motionless after lying down. No. What, Captain, wait. Gion was awakened by Kaishu from her daze and frantically began to put oil on Kaishu's wide back. The moment Gion's cold little hands touched Kaishu's back, Kaishu's body felt hot, and his heart beat a little faster. Captain, how is the strength? 
Guillaume's technique is still good, and it can be seen that she has learned it especially. But to Kai Xu, it was just a pair of cold little hands stroking his back. Yes, not bad. At this moment, Kai Xu felt that his body was very hot, and his breathing was a bit short of breath. This is a feeling that Kai Xu has never experienced before, be it in his previous life or current life, Kai Xu can be said to be completely single. Captain, you. What kind of woman do you like? Gion began to stutter, and her palms began to sweat. Her tone became more tense as she asked her question. If people outside saw Gion like this now, they couldn't believe their eyes. Is this still the decisive, cold, and arrogant snow catastrophe? She is obviously a shy, inexperienced little girl. This, I've never thought about it. Kaishu also didn't know how to answer. He never had such thoughts before. Then what are you thinking about now? Gion suddenly acted coquettishly. This. Kaishu, who was always fearless, suddenly became a little nervous. Gion smiled mischievously, and her cold expression disappeared completely, but her temperament became even more seductive, making her look bolder. She lowered her body and put her mouth close to Kaishu's ear, making Kaishu feel her breath on the back of his ear. Captain, do you like this? Kaishu's breathing became a little heavier. Gion showed it so clearly, no matter how hesitant it was. Suddenly, he turned around and hugged Gion in his arms, then he lowered his head and kissed her on the lips. Gion was taken aback by this sudden movement, but soon after, she opened her mouth and responded enthusiastically after realizing it. Captain, I like you. Gion said nervously with mist in her eyes. Kai Shu picked up Gion and walked to the room, zero 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 words are omitted for details that cannot be described six after one night, Gion becomes even more charming. She transforms from a girl to a woman, which makes her look more mature and sexy. Kai Shu also has the first woman in his life, making his mood completely good, he temporarily puts down his training and accompanies Gion to eat, go shopping, and play. Kaishu now understands why there was an old saying in ancient times in his previous life, heroes are saddened by beauty, and the hibiscus tent warms the spring night since then the king will not go to court early. Especially a woman like Gion, who treats outsiders like an iceberg and is bold and shy in front of him. Husband, I want that dress. When the two of them were alone, Gion no longer called Kaishu as captain. That seemed too intimidating, and now the two are completely in the love period. Wayno, at the flower capital. Gion dragged Kaishu, who was carrying several bags in his hand, into the street. Some of them belonged to Gion, but most of them were Kaishu's clothes. In Gion's words, Kaishu's clothes are too few, as her man, she must dress Kaishu handsomely. Boss, wrap it up. Kaishu didn't look at the price, as long as Gion liked it, he would buy it. The owner of the clothing store didn't dare to take the money at first, but seeing Kaishu's cool look, he still took the money while trembling. Gion tiptoed, kissed Kaishu's hand, and said sweetly, My husband is so kind. More than a week has passed like this. Kaishu and Gion have shown their affection, causing many people to eat dog food. Beasts pirates basically know that Gion has become their captain's wife. This makes many female members like Naiden envious. But one day, Gion suddenly proposed to go to sea. Isn't it just some troublesome pirate group? Do you still need to go there yourself? Kaishu strongly opposed Gion's decision to go to sea. Not only to deal with that pirate group, but the most important thing is that I am going to take my hawk out to train. A swordsman who has not experienced the tempering of the sea will never grow up. As the top cadre of the beast's pirates Gion, the snow catastrophe is not a vase but a very bold person. And for my hawk, not only her but Kaishu also values it very much. Kaishu showed a helpless expression. No one dared to object to his decision except for Gion. Humph, you can go if you want. Kaishu snorted arrogantly, and then he turned around and left. Gion smiled happily and caught up with Kaishu, then she held his arm while squeezing it softly and acting coquettishly, I knew my husband was the best. Husband, don't be angry. The big deal is that you have the final say today, whatever you say. I will listen to you. Gion became so shy that the more she spoke, the softer her voice became. That's what you said. Kaishu's eyes lit up, and he laughed happily. Rogue, big rogue. 
After Guillaume left, he re-entered the state of training. Now, apart from mainly training in his physical fitness, he also trains his observation hockey. Observation hockey has many directions, such as future vision, emotion sensing, mind reading, and so on. Kaishu now has the ability to foresee the future for a short time in addition to having an extremely wide range of observation hockey. But it only lasts less than 5 seconds, which is obviously not enough. Although observation hockey does not have advanced skills like armament hockey and conqueror hockey. Some people are even born with awakened top observation hockey, such as the red count. But these abilities in observation hockey can still awaken through training. An example is Katakuri and Luffy in the manga. While Kaishu was training hard, Kaido and the others also entered Golden Lion's territory after a week of sailing. Captain, let me deal with those arrogant guys. Sky Snake, Sokka, captain of the no ship of the Golden Lion pirates, said with an angry look. The beast's pirates broke into the Golden Lion's territory so brazenly, showing that they didn't take them seriously at all. It was so obvious that they were deliberately looking for trouble. So, how could the Golden Lion pirates, who had always been the ones causing trouble, be able to swallow this? Right, Captain, we must let those guys from the beast's pirates know the consequences of offending our Golden Lion pirates. The captain of the second ship, Gunpowder, Barris, said equally angrily. Jihahaha. Golden Lion suddenly laughed, but everyone could hear the suppressed anger in his laughter. That brat wants to use me to establish his authority. Ferocious intention flashed in the Golden Lion's bright eyes. After spending half his life wandering around the sea, how could Golden Lion not guess Kaishu's intentions so obviously? If it were an all-out war, it wouldn't only be Kaido. But precisely because he knew Kaishu's intention, he became so angry. He obviously has three targets in Emperors of the Sea, but Kaishu chose him to establish his authority. What does it mean? This is simply not taking him, Golden Lion, seriously. I've been provoked. There's no reason not to fight. This time, I will defeat Kaido with my own hands. Letting the whole world know that I'm the king of the pirates. Golden Lion stood up while holding his two swords. Oh dash, but it's not like Kaido has never been defeated by us. Although Kaido can't be killed, we can kill all the other crew of the beast's pirates here this time. That's right. Kill them all and let Kaishu, the beast, see how powerful we are. Let's go dash, Golden Lion roared with a ferocious expression. On the other side, in Erebus. Gudongadong, cheers dash, including Kaido, all the members were chatting, drinking, and eating meat, there was no tension before the war at all. Um. The fifteen-year-old king has lost his childish appearance and looks like a handsome young man. His movement of eating meat suddenly stopped, his eyes and the corners of his mouth were slightly raised as he looked at the sea in front of him. Soon after, Sebastian and Gaspar also stood up and looked at the sea as well. On the other hand, it was Kaido, who was drinking heavily and with little blurry eyes, who remained in his place. King Sama. The crew member looked at them doubtfully. Get ready. It seems Shiki wants to stop us here. King said calmly. After hearing King's words, everyone else immediately became serious. They put down their glasses, picked up their weapons, and started to be on guard. Soon after, several pirate ships appeared on the sea, and their strong momentum could still be felt even though they were several sea miles apart. A slash N, the battle between Golden Lion and Roger involved driving a pirate ship on the sea, not necessarily flying in the sky. It seems like that guy has not spent all these years in vain. He's much better than the last time we saw him. King commented lightly, and the fighting spirit in his eyes became even more intense, Gaspar's aura was even more fierce than five years ago, and there was an extra scar on his face, making him look even more ferocious. He glanced at King, who was full of fighting spirit, and stopped him, King, give Golden Lion to Kaido. Woo 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 woo, but before he could finish speaking, Kaido's cry could be heard on the deck behind him. This time, he cried after being drunk again. Everyone in Beast's pirates lowered their heads helplessly when they saw this scene. Gaspar looked at the unreliable Kaido and swallowed back what he was about to say. Seeing the Golden Lion pirates approaching, King's eyes became brighter, and his fanatical fighting spirit spread to every cell in his body. Soon, the two pirate ships stopped less than ten meters apart. 
The silence made the weaker pirates swallow their saliva involuntarily, and their palms sweat. The air and the turbulent sea seemed to stop moving at this moment. Golden Lion, followed by six cadres, walked to the bow of the ship. On the Golden Lion pirates, there are seventeen total division captains, with each of them leading their own pirate group. Moreover, there are hundreds of affiliated pirate groups under Shiki's command. With such a large number, it's no wonder that the Golden Lion is called the most powerful of the four emperors of the sea. But since the beast's pirates only came with a few cadres, Golden Lion naturally wouldn't call all his cadres. That would make it look like he's afraid of the beast's pirates. So this time, Golden Lion only brought six cadres. Looking straight at King and the others, he laughed loudly, Jihahaha, what's the matter? Is that brat, Kaido, afraid to come out to see me? Golden Lion, don't be too arrogant. How can Kaido be afraid of you? King stood at the bow of the ship and said coldly. Little brat, don't think that I won't dare to kill you with Kaishu backing you. There was a cold light in Shiki's eyes as he spoke coldly while he puffed the cigar in his mouth. King did not back down, ignoring Golden Lion's biting murderous intent, he said indifferently, if you have the ability, try it, Golden Lion. Smelly brat dash, Golden Lion unleashed his conqueror's hockey, causing the clouds to surge instantly. Almost at the same time, King's pupils shrank, and his conqueror hockey spread out, colliding directly with Golden Lion's conqueror hockey in midair. The sea became calm, and the wind ceased blowing, everything around seemed to be subdued by their fierce momentum. Bang dash, many people on the two ships were foaming from their mouths while they were passed out. Jihahaha. Golden Lion laughed wildly while drops of sweat dripped from King's forehead. Obviously, King's Conqueror Hockey was at a disadvantage. The two Conqueror Hockey, one purple and one black, keep colliding in mid-air, but as time passes, King's Conqueror Hockey is gradually being suppressed. Just when King's Conqueror Hockey was about to be broken. Uh, Shiki, what do you mean by bullying my crew? Oh um, Kaido's tall body appeared behind King, and his violent conqueror hockey came out. His conqueror hockey pushed Golden Lion's conqueror hockey back at once. Their conqueror hockey continuously collided in the sea area between the two sides, with the dark red lightning flickering incessantly. Boom dash, the air exploded, and the clouds rolled. Look, the clouds. No, the sky is split apart. The crew members on both sides looked up at the sky and almost forgot to breathe in horror. The sky is split apart. Before Kaido and Golden Lion fought against each other, no one thought that the collision of Conqueror Haki alone could cause such a terrifying phenomenon in the sky. This is the duel between kings. The previous collision with King couldn't be compared with it at all. Let's go to the nearest deserted island. Golden Lion said suddenly. Up to you. Kaido said proudly. Let's go. After finding the nearest deserted island, the two sides did not talk any nonsense and fought directly, the purpose of Beast's pirates is very simple, to show off their muscles and fight, so the Golden Lion pirates have no choice but to only fight. On this unknown desert island, the first battle that can dictate the strongest emperor of the sea happens. At the Marine Headquarters, Marine Ford. Fleet Admiral Kong summoned a group of high-ranking Marine officials. After all, every action of the beast's pirates is the focus of Marine's attention. What do you think about this matter? Fleet Admiral Kong asked while sitting in the main seat. Fleet Admiral, I think this is an opportunity, we can catch Kaido and Golden Lion when they are both hurt, a Vice Admiral suggested from the side. No, we can't get involved in New World for the time being, and do you think Golden Lion can kill Kaido? A Vice Admiral on the other side objected, don't forget, that guy, Kaido, is an unkillable monster. If they hurt both sides, we can take advantage of this time to severely damage the Golden Lion pirates and even capture Golden Lion. The previous Vice Admiral continues to advocate for military action. Hmph, if you want to arrest Golden Lion and severely damage the Golden Lion pirates, we need at least two admirals to lead the team and assemble tens of thousands of elite marines. Such actions may cause the pirates in the New World to unite. In that case, we may suffer heavy losses. Another Vice Admiral objected. After uniting the entire Marines, we don't need to be afraid of them, and we can fight them all. The previous Vice Admiral said dissatisfiedly. Then we don't care about Four Seas and the Paradise. 
The various vice admirals refused to give in to each other, but Admiral Sengoku, Zephyr, Wagoner, and Great Staff Officer Tsuru all remained silent. Garp has bubbles on his nose while he sleeps. Okay, stop arguing. Fleet Admiral Kong interrupted the quarrel in the meeting room. Sengoku, Wagoner, what do you think? Fleet Admiral Kong asked Sengoku and Wagoner. Of these two men, one represents the military side, and the other represents the peaceful side. Admiral Wagoner is a 60-year-old man and the devil fruit user of the Rumble Rumble Fruit. He is a veteran admiral who participated in the God Valley incident, and his qualifications are second only to Fleet Admiral Kong's in all marines. Fleet Admiral Kong, I think it's better to ignore them. Sending troops to the New World is not good for us. Sengoku's eyes flickered, and he continued, This time, the Beast's pirates only have a few cadres led by Kaido. Once we send troops to New World, it is likely to lead. Kaishu the Beast action. The meeting room fell into an eerie silence. Kaishu the Beast, this name is no longer the same level as a supernova from five years ago. Not to mention the forces under the former three overlords. He represents the strongest monster in the sea today even the marine headquarters, when facing Kaishu, dare not say that they care surely win. One person handles four admiral-level combat forces. With such terrifying strength, apart from Zebek at his peak, Kaishu is the only one. Even some vice-admirals from the military side, when they heard Kaishu's name, their expression changed, and their eyes became heavy. Fleet Admiral Kong frowned and thought for a moment, then he looked at Wagoner again. Fleet Admiral, we really can't just ignore the Four Seas and the Paradise just because of the New World, but doing nothing is too unreasonable. Let me lead the team to deal with them. After thinking for a while, Wagoner said seriously. Although he agreed not to attack with all his strength, he was unwilling to let go of this opportunity. And this time, his goal is also very clear. Since there is no way to take Kaido. Because it might lead to Kaishu instead. Then, look for an opportunity to severely damage the Golden Lion pirates. Fleet Admiral Kong looked at Great Staff Officer Tsuru before looking at Wagoner seriously and asking, If something cannot be done, can you guarantee that you will not act arbitrarily? Of course, Fleet Admiral, Wagoner replied in a deep and serious voice. Okay, Wagoner, this time it's up to you to go to the New World G5 branch. You must be cautious. Fleet Admiral Kong looked at Wagoner and issued an order seriously. Thank you, Fleet Admiral. Wagoner was very satisfied with this result. You bastards, don't underestimate our Golden Lion pirates. Kill. Let them know how powerful we are dash, we are the most powerful pirates in the sea dash, come, we will let you see how powerful the beast pirates are dash, ha ha ha, die. Bang dash, boom. The two pirate groups collided under the leadership of their respective cadres. Kaido and Golden Lion have no intention of taking action for the time being. This is the best opportunity to train the crew under them. What's more, is there any reason for the king to take action as soon as possible? Kill. Go to hell. Bang dash, damn it, die. On the desert island, the two sides started a fierce battle. People fell every minute. The sound of guns, the clash of swords, and their roar resounded. King casually killed a crew member of the Golden Lion Pirates and looked for his next target. Chirp, hiss, King suddenly jumped away, and a pit corroded by venom suddenly appeared where he previously stood. White smoke was still coming out from the pit, so you can imagine how corrosive the venom was. Brat, are you one of the new nine catastrophe of Beast's Pirates? The Beast's Pirates really have no one, and they let you, a young brat, become a cadre. The captain of the no ship, soaring snake, Sokka, appeared in front of King and said with greedy eyes, Do you know what I like most? As he spoke, Sokka's eyes turned into vertical pupils, and his figure suddenly shot toward King. During the ejection process, his body transformed into a blue, winged snake with barbs on its back. Then his gleaming fangs quickly bit King, who was standing there. I like to see the most geniuses die young. King could feel the fishy smell coming towards his face, his eyes flashed red, and his whole body ignited with golden flames. Clang! King pulled out the enma from his waist, and golden flames wrapped around the blade. That only shows that you are afraid that geniuses will grow up and threaten your status. 
King stared coldly at the giant snake in front of him that was more than 30 meters long, dragon flame slash. The blade cut out an oriental dragon-shaped flame, and the hot flames greeted the giant snake. Waste dash, the surrounding temperature increased rapidly, and the giant snake's beastly eyes suddenly closed. After this, the giant snake opened its smelly mouth and spit out green flames. It's obviously a flame, but it gives people a cold feeling. Boom! Bang! The golden and green flames collided violently, and a deep, charred pit exploded in the ground. The stalemate lasted for less than a few seconds, as the green flame seemed to encounter a natural enemy, as it was continuously devoured. After a while, the golden flame completely engulfed the green flame and rushed toward the giant snake, unabated. Damn it! How could such a thing happen? How could my poison flames be inferior to that brat's flames? Sokka couldn't believe it when he saw his own flames being engulfed. But when he felt the blazing heat, he dared not take it head on. The wings on his back just flapped once, and the giant snake flew to an altitude of tens of meters. His speed is quite amazing. Snake Snake Fruit, Model, Soaring Snake King looked up at the giant snake in the sky and said lightly, it's a pity that it met a guy without talent. What did you say, Dash, when Sokka heard King's slightly disdainful tone, his eyes flashed with a biting, cold light. You don't have any courage and are afraid of your opponent's growth. You are just a timid guy. Kid, I'm going to kill you. The huge flying snake descended from the sky while opening its mouth. Schwa! King's figure suddenly disappeared. Boom! A fierce kick tore apart the air. Sokka, who was kicked in the abdomen, flew backward with his huge body like a cannonball. A dozen unlucky pirates were knocked away, and Sokka's whole body was smashed to the ground, causing the ground to shake. What dash, are you kidding me? How? Is this possible? A mere catastrophe actually suppressed the first ship captain. The sudden drastic change made everyone in the Golden Lion Pirates look in disbelief. They cried out one after another, and some of them couldn't even believe their eyes. That brat Dash, even Golden Lion, standing at the back, was a bit skeptical. Holding the cigar with his hand, he looked at King with a slight frown. Sokka, let me help you. At this time, a bloated man over seven meters tall, holding a sledgehammer, rushed toward King, who was about to send another attack at the giant snake. Clang! Enma clashed with the sledgehammer, causing sparks to fly in a harsh buzzing sound. King and the man holding the sledgehammer both took a few steps back while looking at each other solemnly. No ship captain, Earthshaker, Absen. King said coldly. Absen also looked at King solemnly. He was a strong man himself, otherwise, he would not have been able to use a sledgehammer as a weapon. But in the collision just now, King's strength was definitely not weak at all. Is this the strength of the beast's pirate's catastrophe cadre? Then how strong should the top cadre, such as the calamity, be? Are the beast's pirates all monsters? Absen, come and help me kill this brat. Sokka has now transformed into a human beast form, with blue scales covering his body, vertical pupils, and a forked tongue as he stares coldly at King. Good. Absena gripped the sledgehammer and stood beside Sokka. Boom. In just half an hour, the battlefield was already covered with corpses and broken limbs that could be seen everywhere, the entire desert island was filled with the strong smell of blood. Compared to King's strength, Gasper is at a disadvantage at the battlefield here. Pyroblast. The captain of the second ship, Gunpowder Barris, appeared behind Gasper and punched him in the back. Boom! A jellybean barrier rose up behind Gasper, and when Barris's fist hit it, a violent explosion occurred, shattering the jellybean barrier and burning it black. Fortunately, Gasper took the opportunity to step aside. He looked at Barris, who was not tall and even a little thin, with ferocious eyes and said solemnly, Paramecia, bomb bomb fruit. You are listening to this audiobook on web novel audiobooks Tkthigud. It's really a strong ability. Beasts Pirates Cataclysm Gasper, don't forget my name. Just as Gasper escaped the explosion, a blazing flying slash suddenly struck him from his side, seemingly trying to cut him in half. Hateful dash, gummy burst, Gasper's arm transformed into a gummy candy that was shaped like an electric drill. It was covered with armament hockey and rotating rapidly as he thrust it towards the incoming flying slash. 
boom. The electric drill smashed the flying slash, and then the gummy candy fell off Gasper's hand. Captain of Ship No, Wind Speed Swordsman, Corley Dash, Golden Lion glanced at the battlefield, then he exhaled a puff of smoke and said loudly to Kaido, Kaido, is that all your beasts pirates can do? Because it's Golden Lion Pirates' territory, the crew of beasts pirates was at a disadvantage for a while. Shiki, don't get too excited. Kaido didn't seem to care about the situation on the battlefield at all, he just sat on the ground, took out a barrel of wine, and began. To drink. Kaido, if you want to challenge our captain, you need to get our permission first. Don't be so contemptuous. At this time, two tall figures jumped out from the crowd. When the person on the left rushed over, his body transformed as he moved. Roar Dash, his already tall body has grown to a height of five meters, with a ferocious tiger face, sharp claws, and a long tail. Then he slashed down with his sharp claws, covered with armament hockey that shone coldly. Cat Cat Fruit, Model, Tiger. After the person on the right landed on the ground, he pressed his hands on the ground, and a black oil with an unpleasant smell spread toward Kaido. Paramecia, Oil Oil Fruit. Regarding the attack of those two, Kaido didn't seem to notice it, and he was still sitting there drinking wine. In the expectant eyes of the two. Schwa Dash, a tall blue figure appeared in front of Kaido. You two, don't disturb boss Kaido's drinking. Sebastian raised the spiked hammer and slammed it hard on the ground. Boom, amidst the loud explosion, the ground shattered, and it reformed into a wall made of earth, directly blocking the oil and tiger claws. Beasts Pirates Cataclysm Sebastian so it's Andalin, the fire maniac, captain of the third ship, and Bane, the defender, captain of the fourth ship. Sebastian's tall body completely covered the two of them, and then he raised his sunglasses with his fingers and smiled evilly. A slash N, Sebastian is not blind yet at this time. Get out of the way. This can't be done. Then die dash, bang dash, boom. In the vast land, three figures collided at an alarming speed, they moved so quickly that they left an afterimage behind. From time to time, there was a strong collision, causing the atmosphere and the ground to crack and the winds to rage, blowing away patches of trees around. Fire oil dash, Andalin and Bane looked at each other, and then the unpleasant oil gushed out from Andalin's feet. Although Sebastian tried his best to dodge, some parts of his body were still stained with a lot of oil. When Bane saw this, he laughed ferociously, then his sharp tiger claws collided and instantly ignited the oil. Along the direction of the oil, it exploded past with unstoppable power. A cold light flashed in Sebastian's eyes, and his body instantly flashed up in the air as he swept out a fierce kick at incredible speed. The blazing flames were split into two by the wind blade produced by his kick, and even the ground covered by oil was shattered, making the flames fly everywhere. Go to hell, lethal strike. But in the midst of this, a sharp tiger claw struck forward as if it were about to tear Sebastian's body apart. Sebastian, who was in mid-air, had no way to avoid it. This was also the intention of the two men just now. Sebastian's pupils shrank suddenly, and he could only quickly raise his arm and cover it with armament hockey to defend himself. Boom! Tear, blood spilled on the ground. There were three long claw marks that dripped with blood on Sebastian's arm, his entire arm would have been torn off if he hadn't used armament hockey to defend in time. However, the armament hockey he rashly used could not withstand Bane's sharp claws. Uh, at this time, Kaido burped and stood up drunkenly. Why are there so many noisy guys here? What are King and others doing? Looking at the pirates fighting everywhere, Kaido frowned in dissatisfaction. It seems that the number of deaths on both sides is too small. Let's clear the game again dash, boom, Kaido's fierce pupils shrank suddenly, and then a terrifying conqueror hockey intertwined with dark red lightning swept out. Thump, thump. In just a few seconds, thousands of pirates from both sides were foaming at their mouths as they fell to the ground and lost consciousness. In an instant, very few people were left standing on the entire island. How arrogant, Kaido, you dare to use your conqueror hockey in front of me. Shiki laughed wildly, but his laughter was a little cold, and it was full of murderous intent, you are looking for death dash, ignoring the strong murderous intent in Golden Lion's words, Kaido grinned wildly, wa well, aro 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 aro, then come and kill me. If you can't kill me, I will kill you instead, you yellow-haired bastard. As soon as he finished speaking, 
Kaido stomped hard on the ground, and he shot at Golden Lion in the sky like a heavy cannon. The sky is my domain. Get out of here, brat. Golden Lion's eyes narrowed, and a cold light flashed his eyes, he raised the photo in his right hand and swung it out. An incomparable blazing flying slash shot down suddenly. Thunder Bagua dash, Kaido's face was full of excitement, and he swung his mace with all his strength without showing any signs of weakness. The two sides clashed violently. Powerful shock waves raged in the sky. Bang dash, the ground quivers and cracks in the horrific aftermath. The fainted pirate was swept out like garbage by the shock waves, with their life or death unknown. But no one cares about the life or death of these people. Whether it is the Golden Lion Pirates or the Beast's Pirates, they are all cruel, bloodthirsty, ruthless, and indifferent guys. These pirates can't even resist conqueror hockey. So, they don't care about their life or death. Bang dash, clang. Clatter. Facing the violent golden flying slash, Kaido retreated, and the sea surface below was chopped, creating a deep ravine that was several kilometers long. Shiki, your strength has improved a lot in the past two years dash, Kaido slams his mace at Golden Lion's face while laughing manically. Kaido, it's not your turn to criticize me. You are not qualified yet dash, Golden Lion's figure flashed, dodging the mace that came smashing wildly. Boom dash, after the fierce attack hit nothing, the shock wave smashed the sea surface below, creating a deep hole. Golden Lion's eyes flashed with a cold light, then his muscles all tense up, and his arms bulged with veins as he slashed down fiercely. Clang, boom dash, Kaido didn't show any weakness, before he could take back his mace, he clenched his left hand and slammed it backhand, making a fierce blow to Golden Lion's flying slash. Clatter. Boom. The strong shock wave rolled out layers of ripples at a speed visible to the naked eye. The sea was so shaken that it set off huge waves, which made people's faces change. Crackling, one after another, dark red lightning appeared and intertwined violently like dragons and snakes dancing wildly. The incomparable conqueror hockey kept colliding, and no one wanted to take a step back. The sea kings, fish, and sea beasts in the vicinity were all directly knocked out. The ground was broken like a spider web, and the cracks continued to spread out. Countless fainted pirates fell into the crack, with some pirates being directly torn apart by the shock wave. The scene was too horrific to watch, this is the confrontation of monsters. Ordinary people are not even qualified to watch it. Waro aro aro aro, Shiki, are you tickling me? Kaido withdrew his fist with a smirk and mocked unscrupulously. Golden Lion looked at Kaido and then at the hand that collided with his flying slash. There were no wounds on it, making his face gloomy and scary. Let's see if I can't really kill you. The Golden Lion held two swords and swung them out suddenly. The blazing flying slash shot towards Kaido with the momentum of splitting mountains and seas. Thunder Bagua dash, the dark red lightning kept flashing, and the sound of explosions that pierced the sky resounded fiercely. Boom. The indescribably huge collision caused the entire island to shake and a large area to be smashed to pieces. The terrifying shock waves visible to the naked eye ripple wildly, making it hard for people to open their eyes. Rows of big trees were crushed to the side, with some even directly uprooted. This. This is the power of Kaido-sama and the Golden Lion. King covered his eyes with his palms and stared at the terrifying battle in mid-air through his fingers. Even though they are far apart, he can still feel the unparalleled destructive power. He also personally feels the gap between himself and the admiral level. Captain. Sokka, Absen, and others were also affected by the terrible shock wave at this time, and they further retreated tens of meters away from the battlefield between Kaido and Golden Lion. Ah dash, a roar resounded throughout the sky, and a dragon suddenly appeared in the dark clouds. Looking at this majestic dragon that looks like a god. It makes people have the urge to worship it. Its huge body was covered in clouds, and only its head could be seen, but its body length could be detected, and it was at least several hundred meters long. Heat breath dash, the surrounding temperature rose rapidly as a terrifying flame condensed in the dragon's mouth. Golden Lion looked up at the sky solemnly while feeling humiliated. The sky was his domain, and they were battling on it, but he couldn't control this guy. At this time, he did not care about anything else and fought Kaido several times. 
Golden Lion is very aware of Kaido's terrifying destructive power. If the heat breath was powerful enough to destroy a mountain in the past, it could now wipe out half of an island. That blazing flame is even more terrifying than the flame flame fruit. Lion Menace, Govern Place Earth Coiling Contrary to everyone's expectations, when Golden Lion stretched out his palm, instead of the earth, the sea surged up instead. Just like a dragon sucking water, several massive water pillars rushed towards the sky from the sea. The water pillars gathered together, forming a terrifying lion's head made of seawater as it rushed toward the flames. Chirp, boom, bang, sizzling, the collision of flame and water, you could see one red and one blue colliding in mid-air from a distance. The mist instantly filled the sky. Ah! So hot! Ah! The boiling mist even made the skin of many pirates turn red. The stalemate between the flames and the seawater formed a thick mist, and the entire island seemed to be covered in boiling mist. The visibility is extremely low, at this time, when you look at the coast of the island, it was like the tide had receded, revealing a large wet reef. It was obvious that Golden Lion's move just now drained a massive amount of seawater. No one expected that the Golden Lion would control the seawater, known as the nemesis of devil fruit users. Oh ho ho, suddenly, a majestic dragon roar sounded, and the wind howled, all of mist was blown away, revealing a tragic desert island. Waro aro aro aro, golden lion, I didn't expect that you would actually hide such a thing. Kaido's dragon head looked at the golden lion, who was floating in the air while laughing loudly. In their previous fight, golden lion never showed that he could control seawater. Jihahahaha, it's you, a brat, who is so much in the way. His whole cards were exposed, so golden lion was not happy. However, as the person who dominates the sea, he still smiles with pride. Boom! The powerful collision between the two created a vivid display of dark red lightning that spread like a net across the entire sky. Suddenly, a dramatic change swept over the sky, accompanied by a howling wind that tore the dark clouds apart. Jihahahaha, Golden Lion chewed half of his cigar and laughed wildly. At this moment, his blood is boiling with the fighting spirit. He constantly dodges the dragon's flames and wind blades in the sky, while staring at the huge dragon with blazing eyes. Lion Menace, Earth Coiling Dash, on the island, the mountain trembled like an earthquake just happened. Immediately afterward, the ground was manipulated by an invisible force and collapsed instantly, and all the earth mixed together to form a gigantic lion's head. The flowers, plants, and trees were uprooted and squeezed into the lion's head as it charged toward the dragon in the sky. But such a colossal monster still looks a bit small in front of dragon. Golden Lion, are you making me laugh? Kaido mocked. Chirp, there was a deafening sound as the thick dragon's tail swept over with fierce momentum towards the incoming attack. Boom! The huge earthen lion head couldn't bear it, and it collapsed on the spot when it was hit, gravel flew, and mud fell like a raindrop everywhere. Aha uh -huh dash, Kaido, you are still so stupid. Golden Lion instantly appeared under the dragon's body, and his two swords turned into afterimages as he swung it swiftly. Lion, Thousand Slice Valley. Countless dazzling flying slashes charged towards the dragon's huge body. The sound of an explosion in the sky continues to resound. Obviously, the earthen lion head just now was just a feint to attract his attention. Chang Dash, Kaka, the hard dragon scales blocked the sharp flying slash. One or two strikes are fine, but with such dense flying slashes. Even Kaido's dragon scale can't resist it, after all, this is an attack from the sea's top swordsman. Tear Dash, there were two long wounds on the dragon's chest, and blood spilled like a stream. Boss Kaido. Kaido-sama. Hateful Dash, seeing this scene, the crew of the beast's pirates all had drastic changes in their expression as they shouted in concern. Die Dash, taking advantage of the victory, Golden Lion pursued and changed his attack from slashing into straight stabs, trying to pierce into the already opened wound. Shiki, you bastard. The dragon's huge eyes glared. Clang. The dragon claws swiftly moved and clashed with the two swords, making the sparks fly everywhere. Heat breath. Kaido opened his bloody mouth and breathed out a dazzling conical flame blast towards Golden Lion beneath him. Boom! Shueisha, Golden Lion sneered, then he quickly drew out his sword and retreated swiftly. In the sky, 
Golden Lion's speed is indeed more flexible than the dragon with a huge body. Although the complete beast form is more destructive, its speed and agility cannot keep up. It's not an issue against other pirates or even ordinary admirals. But it's a bit difficult to deal with Golden Lion, who is at the top of the admiral level hierarchy. After a brief confrontation, Kaido obviously understood this truth, and he instantly transformed from beast form to human beast form. Brush dash, what a monster dash, when Golden Lion saw that the two long cuts on Kaido's chest were healing at a speed visible to the naked eye, he couldn't help cursing angrily. This is the most helpless and disgusting thing about Kaido. No matter how serious the injury is, it can usually recover in a short time. This is also the reason why Kaido got the title of the strongest creature in the land, sea, and air. Wa-ro-ro-ro-ro, if you want to kill me with that skin wound attack, stop dreaming, Shiki Dash, Conqueror of Three Worlds Ragnaraka Dash, Kaido jumped on top of Golden Lion while holding the mace with both hands. The dark red hockey lightning kept flashing around the mace as he smashed it down. Damn it Dash, Golden Lion's eyes were extremely cold, and his armament hockey covered his two swords as he slashed them toward Kaido without any sign of weakness. At Kaido, bang Dash, the earth-shaking explosion sounded, and it seemed that it could be heard in the entire sea area. Clatter. Woohoo, the collision produced a terrifying shock wave that spread wildly. The land, gravel, big trees on the desert island below and even the pirates who had not yet had time to get away were all blown away. Crackling. Dark red lightning intertwined between the two weapons, and a dark object appeared between the swords and mace. Suddenly, one after another, bolts of lightning illuminated the entire sky. The lightning was so frequent that it looked like the sky was covered in a web of lightning strands. Quick, get out of here immediately. This island is sinking dash, retreat quickly. We will be submerged by the sea if we don't leave. King Sama, what should we do? Withdraw dash, the battle between the two monsters gradually shatters the island. At this moment, the ground cracked, and the seawater poured in. The turbulent sea waves get bigger one after another. The islands and ships are like small boats in front of this turbulent sea, and they seem to be swallowed up at any time. This also forced the beasts pirates and the golden lion pirates to stop and urgently withdraw to their respective ships. As for those pirates who were unconscious or even seriously injured, they could only wait for death in despair. For emperors. Let me verify whether you are qualified. Kaido is as fast as lightning and can easily avoid the flying slash from the golden lion. Chirp. Chirp. There was a dull explosion in the air, and the collision produced a terrifying shockwave. Arrogant dash, the storm unleashed waves of destruction that tore the ground apart and pushed everything away. In the center of the broken island, which seemed to be submerged at any moment, two figures, one big and one small, kept interlacing, one with a deep devilish aura and the other with a savage aura. Boom! Suddenly, a terrifying blast of flames rushed out in the middle of the fierce battle. Zizi! There was a sound of burning and a smell of barbecue as a golden figure flew upside down. Among the broken rock, Golden Lion stood up and raised his hand to see the burnt skin on the back of his hand, and then a smirk appeared on his cheek. Kaido, your flame can actually burn off a layer of my skin, but you are still far away from killing me. With a subsequent grab, the burned skin on the back of his hand was directly torn off by the Golden Lion. He didn't even frown but instead had a bloodthirsty smile on his face. The most astonishing thing is that the skin that Golden Lion tore off is healing rapidly. Although it is not as fast as Kaido's healing speed. But this kind of wound would heal soon. Life return, Saimai Kikin. Seeing this scene, Kaido stood up straight, his eyes narrowed slightly, and then he grinned savagely. The method of controlling your body, similar to life return, Saimai Kikin, is not uncommon in the sea. Shwa dash, Shiki, you really can't do it. After images flashed as, a thick arm with terrifying power smashed down like a pillar of heaven carrying an unparalleled force. Stop talking big, Kaido, it's still too early to win against me. At the same time, the unparalleled two swords bloomed like two crescent moons across the sky. Boom! The impact was so intense that it echoed through the sky, unleashing a shower of sparks in all directions. The sand and rocks were sent all flying, and the ground beneath them collapsed suddenly. The ground's layer seemed to be peeled off as it rolled with the wind in all directions. 
the seawater begins to seep and spread in the crack on the ground. But both of them didn't care, their eyes full of murderous intent met each other, and the sound of a violent collision between mace and blade continuously rang out. They both just want to kill each other, wa aro 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 aro, shiki, kill me. Kill me with all your might dash, Kaido's eyes were bloodshot, and his expression was a little crazy. Little brat, I'll kill you with my own hands dash, Golden Lion's eyes turned cold, and the veins on his forehead bulged out one after another. Every time he swung his sword, he slashed with a strength that could split the mountains and the sea. Boom. Bang. Clatter, the earth shaking, unparalleled storm has made the battlefield out of control. The broken rocks tumble, and the seawater churns relentlessly under their feet as the terrifying shock waves continue to ravage everything. As Kaido gave a ferocious smile, the dragon scales all over his body glimmered with lightning. Soon, a violent thunderstorm surrounded Golden Lion, and lightning continuously hit him. Zizi, boom. Shiki's long blonde hair was curled up one by one, and his body was also in a state of embarrassment. He was wounded by the lightning in many places, and his tyrannical eyes looked directly at Kaido with full of murderous intent. Brat, if you want to kill me, you should go back and practice hard. Golden Lion's sword slashed down, and flying slash bloomed like a starry sky as it charged toward Kaido's chest. Click, tear, dragon scales shattered, and blood flew everywhere. Kaido was also cut with a bloody wound, and it looks even worse than Golden Lion's injury. However, it's merely a superficial wound. Damn dash, Golden Lion gritted his teeth and cursed angrily when he saw that the bleeding wound on Kaido's body was healing rapidly. It is scary enough to be able to block Golden Lion's slash with his physique. You must know that even an ordinary admiral will lose his combat effectiveness if he is hit by such an attack. But now, Kaido's injury is still recovering rapidly after receiving such an attack. It is impossible for Golden Lion to use a skill like Life Return, Simai Kicken, to recover from injuries all the time, as that consumes a lot of energy. Moreover, he can't exchange injuries with Kaido, even if Kadios received graver injuries than him. If he keeps fighting like this, he will only lose. This is why, as long as they face Kaido, almost all forces will be besieging him by default. Anyone who fights with Kaido alone will be exhausted by him. Unless there is a special ability like Whitebeard's Devil Fruit that can quickly take Kaido out of combat. Shiki, exert a little more force. You might be able to kill me. Don't get too complacent, brat dash, the hurricane swept across due to the collision of two figures. Bang dash, wow, suddenly, Kaido spurted out a mouthful of blood, his whole body bowed, and his face was full of pain. His bloodthirsty eyes were full of rage, and regardless of everything, Kaido opened his hands and used two lightning spears to penetrate Golden Lion's shoulders. Zitsi dash, cold sweat dripped from Golden Lion's forehead as the smell of burnt meat wafted up. At this moment, his shoulders were gravely injured, and his golden robe was wet with his blood. Waro aro aro aro, Shiki, do you want to beg mercy from me? Begging for mercy? Just you. Such a minor injury is nothing. I'm Golden Lion dash, Golden Lion wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and smiled disdainfully. The injuries on his body did not make him weaker but instead made him more violent. When does a beast become more dangerous? The answer is, when it's injured, whoosh. The ground collapsed, and the seawater splashed while Golden Lion's figure suddenly disappeared. The next moment, Golden Lion appeared in front of Kaido in a flash, with his knees bent as he struck hard towards Kaido's jaw. Click, the sound of dragon scales cracking reverberates as Kaido's head jerks upward while spewing a mouthful of blood. The next moment, Golden Lion appeared on Kaido's head with a ferocious face, his cruel eyes staring straight at those eyes filled with violence. Clang! As the terrifying slash tore through the air, Kaido's dragon horn swept in and collided with it just in the nick of time. The enormous force of impact caused a deep crack to form under Kaido's feet, which then spread across the ground, causing it to collapse and shatter, making the seawater flood in. But despite this, the two continued fighting on the island that was about to sink. Please consider supporting me on Pat, Rayon, only have a few supporters at the moment. Suddenly, a group of ships reappeared on the horizon of the sea. Pirates, the underworld, disguised marine intelligence agents, world government agents, and various kingdoms intelligent agents gathered here. The beast's pirate's vice-captain, Azure Dragon, Kaido, 
was able to fight Shiki the Golden Lion like that, dash, isn't that nonsense. Although Kaido's record has always been full of defeat, he was defeated only after being besieged. That is the strongest creature on the land, sea, and air dash, it's incredible. The beast's pirates are too strong. Just with a deputy captain, they can already embarrass Golden Lion. Ha 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 ha, it's really exciting. I'm afraid the pattern of the new world will change. I heard that Kaishu the beast is a monster even scarier than them. Ah, I know that the strongest monster in the world can break into marine headquarters alone to save people. It seems that there is also a gap between the four emperors of the sea. I'm afraid that after this battle, the beast's pirates will establish their reputation as the number one emperor of the sea. Watching the battle between Golden Lion and Kaido from a distance, each force has its own ideas. Especially for some pirates, seeing Golden Lion and Kaido being injured, a greedy desire gradually emerged in their hearts. If one of them can be killed, not only can they become famous, but they might be able to replace one of the emperors of the sea, huh, big news. The most excited person here is Morgans, the president of the World Economy newspaper. Morgans, who is only 21 years old, has already established his own reputation in terms of intelligence in the underworld. Morgans, a white birdman in a gentleman's suit, nicknamed Big News, Morgans. The situation here has been reported by him around the world. The first battle between the emperors of the sea. Azure Dragon, Kaido fights Shiki the Golden Lion. The beast's pirates don't take the Golden Lion pirate seriously and only send their deputy captain to break into Golden Lion's territory. Ranking battle between the four emperors of the sea. Beasts pirates, the undisputed number of the four emperors of the sea. In short, the battle between the two shook the sea and attracted the attention of everyone in the world, making the beast pirates even more famous after all, with only the deputy captain and a few cadres, they dared to provoke the most powerful pirates group in the new world. Rewinding the time to an hour ago. At the entrance of New World, the Marines led by Admiral Wagoner himself also entered New World. After incorporating the Marines from the G branch, they headed towards Golden Lion's territory. Compared with pirates, the Marines' fleet is more orderly, and its actions are strict. Reporting to Admiral Wagoner, Shiki, the Golden Lion, fought with Azure Dragon Kaido. At the forefront of the fleet, on a large ship with Admiral specifications, a Marine put down the Den Den Mushi and ran to Wagoner to report the situation. Wagoner, who is already 60 years old, doesn't look old. His hair is still all black, while the muscles all over his body still look full of explosive power. At this moment, he was making tea meticulously, even if a Marine reported loudly, it didn't affect his action. This is Wagoner nature, a serious and dedicated Marine. Mr. Wagoner, the battle shouldn't be over so soon, and we can get there in time. A vice admiral waved his hand to signal the marines to go back to work, then he respectfully took the tea from Wagoner, took a sip from the steaming tea, and calmly analyzed the situation. Tross. Wagoner began to clean the teaware while speaking seriously. Pirates are a group of greedy guys who are afraid of death. So, they may withdraw at any time. We still have to be prepared, go and order them to make the warship sail at full speed. Yes. Vice Admiral Tross put down his teacup and immediately went to convey the order. Soon, the warship was a bit faster, and the sea breeze could be felt more forcefully blowing at your cheeks. Mr. Wagoner, if we enter the new world with such a big fanfare, I'm afraid we will attract the attention of all parties. After Tross came back, he looked at Wagoner, who had put away the teaware and was enjoying tea. After all, as the commander stationed in the G. Marine base, he knows the strength of pirates in the new world very well. No one is easy to mess with. Especially the pirate group recently known as the Four Emperors of the Sea they are extremely powerful. Looking at Wagoner's actions now, it is obvious that he is going to make a big move, and it is very likely that he will provoke two Emperors of the Sea at once. Even Tross, who believes in absolute justice, was a little unsure. Um. Wagoner's eye narrowed as he looked at Tross, are you afraid? No. Tross looked solemn while speaking with great determination, for justice, I'm willing to give my life. When Wagoner heard Tross's firm words, his eyes gradually softened, and he said calmly, whether it is the beast pirates or the golden lion pirates, they are all evil existences. But. We really have no way to deal with that bastard, Kaido, 
so this time, our primary target is the Golden Lion Pirates. If conditions permit, sanction the cadres of Beast's Pirates as well. This is all for the justice. Wagoner said with a determined look in his eyes. As for the forces in New World, don't worry. This time, I am the only one here, and they know that the Marine is not going to capture New World, so those selfish pirates will not unite. I understand. Tra said in response. Wagoner is still very optimistic about the equally radical Vice Admiral, otherwise, the headquarters would not send them to guard the New World Marine base. Just as he was about to continue speaking, his expression suddenly changed. Oh. Who was trying to hinder my pirate group? It turns out to be you, old guy. When Wagoner and Tross heard the majestic voice that spread across the sea, their expression changed, and they looked solemnly at the sky. The three warships immediately stopped sailing and scanned the surroundings on alert. But there were only undulating waves on the endless sea, and no enemy was found. This is bad. Wagoner looked up at the clouds and said with a hideous expression, I didn't expect that it would be the worst case scenario. Tross' expression also drastically changed, and he said anxiously, Why did that monster appear here? When the marines on the warship saw the admiral and vice admiral both looking at the sky with cautious expressions while clenching their weapons, they could not help but swallow their saliva, and their palms became sweaty. Gudon, then, under the marines's nervous gaze, a figure gradually appeared in the clouds. No it can't be. That's. How could this happen? How come he is here, dash, oh my god dash, it turned out to be. It's Kaishu the beasts dash, why, dash, we are clearly not close to the beasts pirates. Territory. Why would Kaishu come here, dash, under the gaze of all the marines, Kaishu slowly descended from the clouds and appeared in front of them. All of the marines' eyes widened, and their jaws almost dropped while looking at this man in shock and fear. That's right, it's fear. Even though they have over a thousand combat powers, even if they have admirals and several vice-admirals, they still feel fear swelling up from the bottom of their hearts. This man is a monster who can suppress the fleet admiral and several admirals. It is the strongest and most terrifying monster of this era. A monster who can come and go even from marine headquarters. Kaishu the Beasts Kaishu Dash, Wagoner speaks with a livid face. The first time Kaishu entered the Marine headquarters alone, Wagoner was not there and did not participate in that battle. But the second time Kaido made a big fuss in the headquarters, he was called back urgently. Because of the rumble rumble fruit speed, he was able to catch up with Kaishu's action of rescuing Kaido. That time, he personally experienced the horror of this monster. Unrivaled strength, extremely powerful defense, and lightning fast speed, Kaishu the beast has no weaknesses at all. Kaishu came to the sky above the warship, then he scanned the audience and said solemnly, Wagoner, I personally welcome you to the new world as a guest. That's really flattering. Even Wagoner, who has always been confident, couldn't help but speak with a wry smile on the corner of his mouth. However, since you're here. Kaishu said flatly, just stay here forever dash, even in the face of an admiral, he still spoke with such confidence. Kaishu, are you trying to start a war with marines? Wagoner stepped forward as admiral, he could not show any weakness at this time, and he spoke in a strong tone, Kaishu looked at Wagoner calmly and suddenly laughed, ya ha ha ha. War. Just what I want. Kaishu stopped laughing wildly and looked at Wagoner coldly, your fate is decided dash, as for the marines. I want to see if they dare to fight me dash, you dash, Wagoner's face was livid and ugly. His serious eyes showed extreme anger, while his hands were bulging with veins. Then you are going to die. Damn, pirate. No one thought that the dignified admiral would suddenly launch a sneak attack. His body made of lightning suddenly appeared in front of Kaishu, his right foot flashed with lightning as it flew towards Kaishu's head without hesitation. Boom dash, there was a loud thunderclap followed by a terrifying explosion that flashed across the world instantly. It is like the god's punishment that sanctions all the evils in the world. Have you got it? Tross stepped forward, and even though the dazzling lightning hurt his eyes, he still stared at the sky full of lightning. How can it be? The next moment, Wagoner's eyes widened, and he couldn't help swallowing a mouthful of saliva. At the very center of the lightning explosion, Kaishu stood calmly with his right hand covered with armament hockey, firmly grasping his violent lightning kick. 
This made Wagoner somewhat feel disbelief. You must know that his devil fruit is the most violent element. Even Sengoku in beast form can barely endure his attack and doesn't dare to fight hard. But Kaishu grasps his attack so easily. Old bastard, you are very arrogant. Kaishu's eyes locked onto Wagoner, and a numbing sensation crept up in his right hand. Then he let out a loud roar and forcefully hurled Wagoner away. At this moment, the sound of Wagoner piercing through the air filled the area, but fortunately, he was able to elementalize in time. However, he still smashed through the deck and fell into the bottom of the cabin. Admiral Wagoner dash, Admiral. Seeing the smashed deck, Tross and a group of marines shouted anxiously. No one thought that an admiral would be at a disadvantage as soon as the battle started. This Kaishu the beast is really too powerful. Kaz, a blue lightning flashed, and the next moment, Wagoner returned to the deck with a gloomy expression. The waves of lightning around him gradually became violent. Admiral Wagoner, is that all? Kaishu looked at Wagoner disdainfully. Damn it! Kaishu, don't underestimate this old man. The lightning surged, filling the entire sky with violent thunder. Suddenly, a silver lightning flashed across the sky, violently piercing everything in its path. 300 million volts lightning dragon. Wagoner, you alone are no match for me at all. Kaishu sneered ruthlessly, then he clenched his fists and covered his whole body with armament hockey while looking at Wagoner in the middle of the lightning dragon. Kaishu punched out, and the air exploded, blasting the lightning dragon away. Boom dash, a blue lightning flashed once again, and Wagoner fell on the deck while taking a few steps back unstoppably, then, as he came to a halt, a loud hissing sound resonated through the air. Suddenly, a spear made of lightning appeared in the Wagoner's right hand, emanating a terrifying energy. Thunder Spear The sky collapsed, and the world went dark, a flash of lightning suddenly illuminated the surroundings. However, it was too quick, it appeared and disappeared in a flash. Kaishu's eyes narrowed, and his right arm grabbed Thunder Spear, the force was so powerful that it drugged him horizontally in the air. Your lightning is much stronger than Kaido's. It seems that idiot's ability still needs to be further developed. His coat shattered, exposing his upper body as Kaishu held the Thunder Spear firmly. At the same time, his right arm exerted more force until it shattered. Admiral Wagoner Dash everyone looked at the Wagoner worriedly, the situation was highly disadvantageous to the Marines. Go and retreat back to the headquarters. Wagoner ordered the Marines around him. No, Mr. Wagoner, hurry up and get on the boat. Let me deal with that monster. Tross immediately objected, he had always admired Wagoner. Don't talk stupidly, Tross, this old man is the Marine Admiral. This old man has been fighting for justice all his life. How could I abandon it at this moment of my life? Instead, let this old man leave a kindling for justice. There was a smile on Wagoner's serious face, at this moment, he didn't have any fear on his face, but only pride. He is extremely proud that he can carry out justice till the end of his life. Admiral Wagoner Dash, all the soldiers on the warship burst into tears. This is their admiral saying goodbye to them. This old man is a remnant of the old era and the new era still needs you, so leave this situation to this old man. Wagoner turned his head without hesitation and then looked at Kaishu, who was walking slowly. Mr. Wagoner. Several vice admirals lowered their heads and shed tears. Even the radical marines' eyes were slightly red. Retreat. Tross held back all his emotions and gave an order for the warship to set sail. Finish saying farewell. Kaishu asks calmly. Kaishu didn't think about keeping the marines and those three warships because if he did, Wagoner would have just escaped. If it wasn't for those marines, with his speed, it would be possible for Wagoner to run away from him. Ha ha ha, come on, pirate, let me show you the absolute justice of this old man dash, Wagoner's eyes were cold, and he spoke loudly with a determined expression. Boom dash, the clouds in the sky turned dark, and countless lightning spread in all directions. At the very center of the thunderstorm, a dragon made of lightning suddenly appeared, and then its whole body swelled rapidly. In just a moment, a monster exuding endless coercion appeared. In the face of this scene, Kaishu's face is indifferent, and then a bloodthirsty, murderous intent slowly appears in his eyes. Gigavolt lightning dragon mode dash, in the sky, two distinct streams of light, 
one black and one blue, intertwined and collided with each other. Pfft. Wagoner vomited blood, and then his eyes turned cold as he swiftly turned around and unleashed a flurry of ten powerful punches. Bang! Their fists pound against each other's flesh, like two fights like beasts fighting to death, and in just a moment, the wounds on Wagoner's body spread all over his body. Wagoner was panting hard, at this moment, his face was covered in blood, and his ribs were broken. On the other hand, Kaishu's clothes were only scorched black by lightning in many places, but no injuries could be seen on his body. The violent lightning could not cause any damage to his demon-like body. Is that all, Wagoner? At this moment, Kaishu's eyes suddenly narrowed as he watched Wagoner's body grow larger while rising from the ground. Moreover, a spike made of lightning appeared all over his body, making him look even more menacing. Buzz, boom. For the sake of the sea, I must eradicate you dash, then, the lightning around Wagoner turned into a thunder field that flashed wildly, making his blood-stained face look extremely ferocious. Wagoner has only one desire in his heart at this moment that is to die together with Kai Shu, at this moment, the sky was filled with violent lightning, as if God was angry and he was going to the end of the world. Boom! The lightning flashed around, the sea surged, and the sky lost all its other colors. World-destroying field dash, with a roar, the entire sky was covered by thunderstorms, that. That's. Admiral Wagoner dash, Mr. Wagoner is ready to drag Kai Shu to death together. At the same time, Marine, who had been several sea miles away, looked at the scene with their eyes widened while murmuring something in disbelief. Only a few vice admirals could tell from this move that Wagoner was determined to die. In the sky covered with lightning, a huge eastern dragon that stretched for thousands of meters made by lightning suddenly appeared. Anyone in the entire sea area can feel the terrifying power contained in the lightning dragon above. Once it falls, even a large island can be completely destroyed, this is the destructive power of an admiral-level powerhouse. This guy is really a lunatic. Looking at the Wagoner shining with lightning, Kaishu commented in a tone of approval. The lightning dragon above is like a world destroyer. Once it falls, even Wagoner will not be spared. Even if he is a rumble rumble fruit user, if such a berserk force explodes, Wagoner will be crippled even if it does not die. Only such lunatics will be recognized by Kaishu. Old man, you are indeed very strong, I recognize you dash, Kaishu turned into a human beast form while exuding a cold aura. Then he looked up at the lightning dragon with a crazy expression. I don't need the approval of such an evil person. Die. Roar dash, the thousands meter long lightning dragon roared and crashed down with an incomparable, heaven shattering power. Come dash, Kaishu seemed to be even more insane than Admiral Wagoner because he even rushed toward the lightning dragon regardless of anything. Kaishu looked so insignificant in front of the lightning dragon, and he was swallowed in a big mouthful, boom dash, after a deafening explosion, the sea turned turbulent, and waves rose to a height of hundreds of meters. A shockwave that could destroy the world spread out in all directions, followed by violent lightning that raged across the entire sea area. For a moment, an unimaginable hurricane, sea wave, and lightning flooded everywhere. Quick! The tsunami is coming dash, full speed ahead. Use the cannons. Ah! The tsunami is coming. Oh my god! Quick dash, one sword style. Tempest kick, Rankyaku. Bang! Even though they were several sea miles away, the tsunami caused by the lightning dragon explosion still affected them. The marines responded hurriedly on the deck, they either steered the helm, reefing the sails, or used the recoil of the cannons to accelerate. In short, they use all means to escape from the 100-meter tsunami. At critical moments, the vice admirals showed even more magical power. They either tear apart or shatter the tsunami behind them. They sail at full speed before a bigger tsunami comes, that terrifying explosion was like a natural catastrophe, can that monster survive such a natural catastrophe? They didn't know how long it took before the lightning that raged across the sky slowly disappeared. Hu hu hu. In the sky, a dark figure was breathing heavily. His curved horns and burly body show that it's none other than Kaishu. But at this time, Kaishu was very embarrassed, and his whole body was blackened. It is not caused by armament hockey but because he was burned. There were many burnt places in his body, and the opened wounds seemed to be roasted, with white smoke emitting from it while producing a hissing sound. 
Ahem. Kaishu coughed twice, and his bright eyes stared before him where the Admiral Wagoner originally stood. Farewell. Kaishu said respectfully to the empty space. This respect has nothing to do with position. It is recognition of Wagoner's strength and even more admiration for his belief, until the moment he exploded and was shattered by lightning, Wagoner carried out his own justice, such a man, how romantic. That's right, the Rumble Rumble fruit user was crushed into powder by the violent explosion of lightning and disappeared between heaven and earth. Not because he couldn't survive. But until the last moment, he was making his final contribution to the sea. Because when he sees that Kaishu is still standing fine amidst the lightning dragon explosion and knows that he can't kill Kaishu, he removes his elementalization and lets the violent lightning destroy his body. In this way, Kaishu will not be able to control him after his death. It's no secret that Kaishu has the ability to turn dead people into his puppets, and similar devil fruit has also appeared in the sea. Kaishu will respect Marine like this, even if he is an opponent. As for why Kaishu got hurt so badly, because he's crazier. He didn't use his ability to fight back, nor did he use armament hockey. Just after transforming into human beast form, he rushed into the center of the explosion that could destroy the world. If such a person is not a lunatic, then what is he? Bang dash, boom. That's it. Let me feel more excited, Golden Lion. Kaido suddenly laughed wildly, and then a violent aura erupted from his body. His surging aura caused the seawater under his foot to retreat, revealing the broken ground and shattered plants. Brat, don't be too proud. Golden Lion's eyes flashed fiercely, and then he slashed out with both swords. A huge and dazzling flying slash tore through all obstacles and instantly hit Kaido's dragon claw. Boom dash, a bright light suddenly burst out, making it impossible to look straight at. The dragon claws were in a stalemate with the dazzling flying slash for a while, then when the dragon scales in Kadio's palm shattered, he also crushed the flying slash. Brush dash, the next moment, the two of them disappeared from the place almost at the same time. Boom dash, bang. Boom. With a loud explosion, a powerful storm tore apart the earth and sea. And whenever the two violent figures separated, they collided with each other back in an instant. Boom dash, boom. The two figures, who looked like ancient beasts, fought fiercely and collided violently. For a moment, electric light flickered, blades danced swiftly, and flying slash flew wildly through the air. Boom! The horrific collisions produced one after another shock waves that swept in all directions. At this moment, a vortex appeared on the sea's surface along with the continuous explosions. The terrifying shock waves raged crazily, destroying everything in their way. In the face of this destructive force, the sinking island keeps trembling and collapsing at a speed visible to the naked eye. Crackling, the two terrifying auras intertwined with dark red lightning collided crazily, each vying for dominance. On the sea, one after another, sea kings were knocked unconscious and floated to the surface. Three days later, a piece of explosive news that shocked the world spread across the sea. No it's not true. Oh my god. Admiral Wagoner actually died in battle dash, how could such a thing happen? That's a marine admiral, the highest combat force of the marine headquarters. No way, Kaishu, the beast actually kill the Admiral Wagoner. How could this happen? How could an admiral lose to the pirates? Did the justice just lose? It's over. Even an admiral dies. Who can stop Kaishu and the beast's pirates now? No, justice will never fail. I don't believe it. I will join the marines and seek revenge for Admiral Wagoner. Kaishu-sama is indeed the strongest. I want to join the beast's pirates and follow his lead. Boys, a marine admiral has died in the battle. There is nothing that can stop us now. Let's go to the sea to realize our ambitions. Oh dash, the sea is in an uproar during this time, a series of news bombarded the world, leaving countless people shocked and speechless. Because the marine admiral died in battle, countless ambitious pirates began to act recklessly and cause chaos in the sea. As the newspaper spread across the sea, Kaishu's reputation reached its peak. Leading to countless admirers wanting to join the beast pirates. The marines fell into confusion and panic because of the death of Admiral Wagoner. Fortunately, Fleet Admiral Kong stood up in time to boost and calm the marines' morale. 
in the New World, at Golden Lion's territory. Shiki's clothes were stained with blood, while his face was covered with blood stains, making him look extremely hideous. At this moment, he placed his palm on his somewhat sunken chest while glaring at Kaido, who was laughing wildly, and then he turned around to fly towards the ship not far away. A shocking showdown, which lasted for five full days, finally came to an end. This unprecedented battle ended with Shiki the Golden Lion retreating on his own initiative due to being seriously injured and unwilling to continue fighting with Kaido anymore. Hu hu hu. Kaido was also panting, and his face was a little pale. There are many cuts and wounds densely scattered all over his body, but they are all healing at an extremely fast speed. The five-day battle also took a heavy toll on Kaido's physical strength. Waro aro aro, in the end, it's me who wins dash, Kaido laughed maniacally. Golden Lion, who hadn't completely left yet, heard Kaido's proud laugh, and his expression became terrifyingly gloomy. However, Golden Lion, who was always unruly, did not refute even though his face was full of anger this time. This time, he was indeed defeated. With Golden Lion's pride, he will naturally admit his failure. Oh, we win. Kaido-sama defeated Golden Lion. Ha ha ha. Long live boss Kaido. Oh, oh, Golden Lion is nothing more than that. As expected, we beasts pirates are the strongest. In contrast to the Golden Lion pirates, who retreated in defeat, the crew of the beast pirates were all cheering. In the sea area not far from the island, the various forces naturally heard Kaido's heroic laugh. Yes. Did Azure Dragon Kaido just win? No way, Golden Lion actually lost to the Vice Captain of Beasts Pirates. The Beasts Pirates is so powerful. Big news. The first battle between the pirate group of the Emperor of the Sea is over. Golden Lion lost, and Azure Dragon Kaido won. Even the most powerful Golden Lion Pirates lose, the Beasts Pirates are the strongest Emperor of the Sea now. Soon, the results of the battle here spread throughout the world. It has not been two days since the news that Admiral Wagoner was killed by Kaishu, the beasts. The news that Azure Dragon Kaido defeated Shiki the Golden Lion soon spread throughout the world. For a time, the news related to beasts pirates was unparalleled and dominated the entire sea. The two brothers, Kaishu the beasts and Azure Dragon Kaido, have attracted the admiration of countless pirates. The titles of beast pirates, being the strongest emperors of the sea and the leader of the four emperors, are also recognized by the world. Please consider supporting me on Patreon, I only have a few supporters at the moment. One week later, at Onigashima. To celebrate the achievement of killing a marine admiral and defeating Golden Lion, making them the strongest group of the Emperor of the Sea. The Beast's pirates held their biggest party ever. All members participate, including affiliated pirate groups. As for the empty territory defense, not long after the defeat of the Marine and the Golden Lion Pirates, who dared to challenge the majesty of Beast Pirates at this time. Yahohoho. Yahohoho. Gather up all of the crew, it's time to ship out Bink's brew. Sea wing blows to where who knows the waves will be our guide or across the ocean's tide rays of sunshine far and wide birds they sing of cheerful things, in circles passing by bid farewell to Weaver's town say so long to Port Renown sing a song, it won't be long before we're casting off. Cross the gold and silver seas, the salty spray puts us at ease day and night, to our delight, the voyage never ends. Ya ha ha ha, kids, drink as much as you like. Oh dash, cheers dash, captain killed Admiral Wagoner, and vice captain defeated Gold Lion. Now, we are the strongest pirate group in the new world. Cheers, brothers. Ha ha ha. The atmosphere of the banquet was warm, and everyone celebrated the joy of victory. Captain, there's big news again. Chinjo suddenly shouted excitedly, attracting everyone's attention and making them all look at him curiously. Gudong. Ah. What's wrong, Chinjo? Kaishu drank a large bucket of wine in one gulp and looked at Chinjo in confusion. Here are today's latest newspapers. Chinjo took out a stack of newspapers and pulled out a bunch of bounty, there is also our latest bounties in it. Oh. Kaishu said with an interested smile, let's see how much our bounty has increased this time. Chinjo first drew out a few bounties, which were the Beast's Pirate's Cataclysm Cadres. The Rubik's Cube Monster, Garum, Beast's Pirate's Cataclysm Cadre, Bounty, 490 million belly, 
wanted dead or alive. The female doctor, Knighton, Beast's Pirate's Cataclysm Cadre, Bounty, 10 million belly, wanted dead or alive. The Hammer, Sebastian, Beast's Pirate's Cataclysm Cadre, Bounty, 547 million belly, wanted dead or alive. The Poker King, Gideon, Beast's Pirate's Cataclysm Cadre, Bounty, 626 million belly, wanted dead or alive. The Marine Trader, Gasper, Beast's Pirate's Cataclysm Cadre, Bounty, 700 million belly, wanted dead or alive. The Crazy Lion, L, Beast's Pirate's Cataclysm Cadre, Bounty, 785 million belly, wanted dead or alive. The Chameleon, Gaminio, Beast's Pirate's Cataclysm Cadre, Bounty, 830 million belly, wanted dead or alive. The Golden Thief, Magnus, Beast's Pirate's Cataclysm Cadre, Bounty, Zero, the sound of someone swallowing their saliva was heard occasionally at the banquet. The bounty on Beast's Pirate's Cataclysm Cadres was terrifyingly high. Among them, the Crazy Lion, L, and the Chameleon, Gaminio, are cadres who have just joined. One is a Lion Zoan fruit user, and the other is the user of the Copy Copy fruit, Paramecia type devil fruit. When Gamino the Chameleon boarded his ship, even Kaishu was a little surprised. Because, in the manga, Gaminio was captain of the second division of the Whitebeard Pirates before Kazuki Odin. The ability to copy devil fruits is very powerful and can be said to be superior to clone clone fruit. Not only can you copy other people's appearance, but you can even copy their devil fruit. Only. After joining the beast's pirates, he discovered that his ability could not replicate the mythical Zoan users. He can't copy the abilities of Kaishu, Kaido, Chinjo, and others, Gaminio would never have thought that this was because the mythical Zoan users of beast's pirates had been systematically evolved by Kaishu. As for why Magnus has no bounty, it is because he bribes the celestial dragons. Magnus Grand Tesoro is already an independent country recognized by the world government, and he's the king of the world's largest entertainment city. His bounty has been revoked. Hey, the marines increase their bounty so much, they are finally not so stingy. Kaido drank wine and laughed while speaking, he was naturally happy that the bounties of the cadres had increased. The bounty offered five years ago was not so high. When they first formed Beast's Pirates, their strength surpassed these cataclysms, but their bounty was only over 600 million. Today, the one with the highest bounty, Gaminio, has exceeded 800 million belly. It seems that the Marine has no choice but to print more money to increase our bounty. Kaishu knows that this is a sign before the bounty of all pirates inflated. The Marines can't do anything but do this to deal with the Beast Pirates. What can the Marine Headquarters do when the Captain and Deputy Captain are here? Ha ha ha. That's right Dash, the pirates around laughed wildly and toasted, and then they looked at the other bounties, this time, it was for catastrophe. The Plague Tribulation, Queen, Beast's Pirates Catastrophe Cadre, Bounty, 1, Billion Belly, Wanted Dead or Alive. The Thunder Tribulation, Bullet, Beast's Pirates Catastrophe Cadre, Bounty, 1, Billion Belly, Wanted Dead or Alive. The Fire Tribulation, King, Beast's Pirates Catastrophe Cadre, Bounty, 1, Billion Belly, Wanted Dead or Alive. The Demon Tribulation, Chinjo, Beast's Pirates Catastrophe Cadre, Bounty, 1, Billion Belly, Wanted Dead or Alive. The Heaven Tribulation, Burndy World, Beast's Pirates Catastrophe Cadre, Bounty, 1, Billion Belly, Wanted Dead or Alive. Damn it, why is my bounty lowered to King again? Bullet looked at his bounty with an indignant look on his face. He and King can be said to have grown up together and have the best relationship, but they are always competitive with each other. Because they want to be Kaishu's right-hand man and the most capable general. But his bounty was 10 million lower every time than King's. Mu ha 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 ha, maybe because King is more popular than you. Because both of us are handsome guys. Queen's body swayed to the music while speaking. Bullet suddenly looked back and said, Why am I unpopular? No. What does this have to do with? Ha ha ha. Yo ho ho. It has to be said that Queen's ability to create an atmosphere is even greater than his ability in scientific research. In just a moment, not only did Bullet no longer worry about his bounty, but everyone felt amused. Kaishu looked at Bullet, who was chasing Queen, and at King, who was drinking quietly with a smile on his face. 
it can be said that these two little guys were cultivated by him. One is 13 years old, and the other is 15 years old, but he has become the second best cadre of beasts pirates after the calamity. It can be said that they are quite a pervert, completely surpassing Kaishu and Kaido of the same age. However, this does not mean that Bullet's and King's talents are higher than theirs. It is the result of Kaishu sparing no effort in accumulating resources. Bullet and King are very talented. In the manga, Bullet was able to compete with Dark King Rayleigh at the age of 15, which is enough to prove his talent. Of course, this must be the result of Rayleigh's not using his full strength. You know, in the manga, Bullet trains in Impel Down for 20 years, and when he came out at the age of 45, he was at the Admiral level. This shows his terrifying talent. Otherwise, Roger wouldn't have accepted a person to board their ship with a totally different philosophy compared to the rest of Roger's pirates. Therefore, it stands to reason that Bullet should only be at the rear admiral level now. But don't forget that the mythical Zoan fruit increases Bullet and King's upper limit and talents. In addition to starting training in advance, there are also resources such as gravity bracelets, stamina potions, and actual combat training rooms. If you compute the expense on them, 5 stamina potions a day equals 50 million bellies a day, or 18 billion bellies a year. In the actual combat training room, at least 50 million belly per month or 600 million belly per year. This adds up to a cost of at least 18 billion a year. And that's not counting resources for medical care, food made of sea kings, education, and more. If combined, Kaishu's five-year resources on Bullet and King's body are about 100 billion belly each. That's why Kaishu keeps saying, poor culture and rich martial arts. Without the many resources they use in their training, no matter how talented Bullet and King are, it is impossible for them to reach such heights at this age. To use a saying in the fantasy world, so many resources are used on a pig, and it can be turned into a demon. What's more, Bullet and King are geniuses. The next step is the bounty for the only calamity in our beast's pirates. Chinjo smiled and took out a bounty. The bounty's image is Gion in the human beast form, with the background of a glaciated mountain, icy wings on her back, and a black sword in her hand. Her face is beautiful and moving, but it gives people a kind of lonely and cold feeling that can only be seen from a distance and cannot be desecrated, the snow catastrophe, Gion, beast's pirates calamity cadre, bounty, two, billion belly, wanted dead or alive. Oh, it's more than two. Billion belly, as expected of the snow catastrophe dash, Miss Gion bounty is so high. As expected of Captain's wife. Ha ha ha, she is indeed the top cadre of our beast pirates. I'm so envious of big sister. I also want to become a calamity. Long live Gion Sama dash, seeing Gion's bounty, the atmosphere of the beast's pirates became even higher, and everyone's eyes were filled with admiration and envy. You must know that Gion has not been a calamity for a long time, it's only less than a year. But from less than 2 billion bounty, it has soared to 2 billion directly. Leaving the rest of the cadres of the beast pirates far behind. She's a well-deserved big sister. Even Bullet and Burndy World, who have always been rebellious, looked at Gion next to Kaishu with respect. On the contrary, Gion just smiled lightly at her latest bounty, and then she gently stood beside Kaishu while pouring wine for him. Waro aro aro aro. Even Kaido laughed loudly. Regardless of strength or identity, Kaido recognizes Gion very much. Plus, Gion is now Kaishu's woman. Maybe in the future, when his elder brother beats him up, he will have to rely on his sister in law to receive less beating, so his attitude toward Gion has some flattery. As expected of a master. Myhawk, who was sitting on the side drinking juice, thought with admiration. Finally, it's captain and deputy captain's bounty. Under everyone's expectant eyes, Chinjo took out the bounty hidden in his clothes. Azure Dragon, Kaido, Beast's Pirate's deputy captain, bounty, 3, billion belly, wanted dead or alive. Everyone was taken aback by Kaido's super high bounty, which is equivalent to Emperor of the Sea. You must know that Roger, one of the four emperors of the sea, only has a bounty of three. Billion belly. The bounty offered to Kaido and Roger is almost the same, but Kaido is only the deputy captain. At last. Chinjo showed the last bounty, which belonged to their captain. The beast, 
Kaishu, Beast's Pirate's Captain, Bounty, 4, Billion Belly, Wanted Dead or Alive. Wow Dash, ha ha ha. As expected of our captain. It's more than 4 billion belly dash, this is currently the highest bounty in the sea. Except for Rock D. Izebek, no one has a higher bounty than Captain. Captain will definitely surpass Rock D. Izebek in the future. Ha ha ha, everyone cheers. Oh dash, compared to the festive and boisterous atmosphere of the Beast's Pirates. At the Marine Headquarters, Marine Ford. Today is the day of Admiral Wagoner's burial. Because Admiral Wagoner leaves no corpse, the Marines can only choose to bury Admiral Wagoner's clothes. The whole Marine Ford is solemn, and the tombs of the martyrs are full of gloom. No one spoke, and there were only low sobs. All the Marines are wearing black suits with white flowers on their chest while bowing their heads. After burying Admiral Wagoner's clothes in the martyr's tomb, his wife and children were already unconscious from crying. Great Staff Officer Tsuru and several female Vice Admirals supported Admiral Wagoner's wife and comforted her softly. Kong endured the grief and stood quietly, but his eyes were already red. Even Garp, who has always been carefree, looked sad at this moment while quietly looking at the photo of Admiral Wagoner on the tombstone. Everyone salute to the hero. With a loud shout from Fleet Admiral Kong, all Marines stepped forward in unison, then they looked at Admiral Wagoner's tombstone respectfully and raised their hands in salute. Admiral Wagoner fights on the front line for justice. He destroys countless evil pirate groups and stops the ambition of the Rock's pirate. To maintain the sea's peace, he has been fighting pirates all his life. He dedicated his life to the marine, to the sea, and to justice. He carried out his justice to the end of his life. For the stability of the sea, he fought with Kai Shu to the last moment. Now, he has given us his belief. Marine, are you willing to carry out the hero's belief? Willing dash, there is a firm cry from the marines. Maybe one day we will all die, but as long as justice is still there, heroes will never disappear. Kong looked firmly at the tombstone, and then he deeply bowed. Behind him, the senior marines such as Sengoku, Zephyr, Garp, and Tsuru also deeply bowed. All for justice dash, the densely packed marines shouted in unison. Their firm beliefs soared into the sky, and the sound shook the world at Mary Geos, in Pangaea Castle. It serves as the base of operations for the world government, where officials gather, especially high-ranking officials like the Five Elders. The building here is the center of the world's power. The marines once again ask permission to send troops to New World to take revenge on the beast's pirates. After hanging up the Den Den Mushi, Saint J. Garcia Saturn, one of the five elders, wearing a black suit, with white curly hair, a white beard, and a flat hat, with a scar on the left side of his face, broke the silence. Humph, what is the Marine? Is it a personal organization that can act at will? But that fleet admiral dares to make demands on us. It's too presumptuous. Saint Shepherd Jew Peter, another member of the five elders, with blonde hair and a beard, wearing a dark red suit that shows the scar on his chest, said in dissatisfaction. The point is that Kong's tone was a bit aggressive just now, which dissatisfied the five elders. Saint Marcus Mars, who's wearing a dark blue suit, with long straight white hair and beard, said in a flat tone, what's more, it was marines who acted on their own this time, which led to Admiral's death. Although the beast's pirates are not a small threat, with marines' current strength, they don't have the capability to kill those two pirates. Sending troops rashly will only bring greater losses. And maybe it will also unite the four emperors of the sea. Saint Topman Warkiri voiced his opinion after analyzing the situation calmly. That's right, the marine's strength has weakened a lot, and it's not appropriate to start a war at this time. Saint Ethan Baron V. Nusturo, who wore a white robe and glasses and had a bald head, nodded in agreement while holding a katana sword in his hand. A marine admiral's death, the five elders couldn't care less. They want the sea stability and the rule of the world government not to be threatened. As for the pirates, there are marines to deal with it. Mere pirates are not worthy of letting the world government use its full power. The pirates are only rampant in the new world. In comparison, Garp's bastard son, who established the Revolutionary Army's ideology, is a greater threat dash, St. Marcus Mars said in a low voice while looking at the information about the Revolutionary Army collected by the CP agents on the table. Agree. 
St. J. Garcia Saturn picked up Dragon's photo and said coldly, I didn't expect the son of the naval hero to have the idea of overturning the world government. Humph, if it wasn't for arresting him without reason would cause chaos, he would have been thrown into impel down long ago. St. Ethan Baron V. Nustero said coldly. St. Topman Warkiri tapped the ground with his cane and said lightly, Since this is the case, let Marine remember this lesson. However, it is appropriate to give them some compensation. Next year's military expenditure will increase, and we will provide them with magma magma fruit so that they can cultivate a new admiral. St. Topman Warkiri said sternly after thinking for a while. Well. Yes, after the loss of an admiral, the Marine's combat power really needs to be replenished. Seconded. Seconded. In addition, the plan regarding the seven warlords of the sea can also be implemented ahead of schedule. Saint Shepherd Jew Peter speaks calmly while looking at the other four elders. That's right, the pirates in New World in this era are much stronger than in the past. Marines alone may not be able to suppress them, but they can use the pirate strength. By the way, we can remind Marines that if they don't do well, we can replace them with other forces at any time. They are not irreplaceable. In addition, it can also attract a group of powerful pirates. Saint Shepherd Jew Peter said coldly. The other four nodded in agreement. Let the Marines find candidates for the seven warlords of the sea as soon as possible. Let's see the situation in the new world first before making any decisions. The meeting room fell into silence again. Soon, Fleet Admiral Kong received orders from the five elders. The atmosphere in the Fleet Admiral's office was very depressing at this time. Tell me. What do you think of this matter? Fleet Admiral Kong rubbed his forehead and looked a little unhappy. The conditions given by the above in the Seven Warlords of the Sea are really generous. Tapping her fingers on the table, Great Staff Officer Tsuru looked equally unhappy. Because as long as this plan is implemented, Marine's reputation will be greatly impacted again. Admiral Wagoner has just died, and they have to rely on pirates to fight pirates. How does this make them look in the public eye? Crack, below, Garp bites a donut with angry and disappointed eyes. Dragon, is this why you left Marine? Garp thought to himself but said nothing. Damn it, are we going to endorse a group of lawless pirates? Putting down the document in his hand, Zephyr shouted angrily. Do the five elders know the pros and cons of this proposal? Sengoku was a little annoyed. At this time, the door was pushed open, and the world government commander-in-chief walked in with a poker face. Commander-in-Chief. Fleet Admiral Kong immediately stood up and shouted respectfully. Commander-in-Chief Sakura is not only Kong's boss but also the previous Marine Fleet Admiral and his elder brother. Commander-in-Chief. 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 Everyone stood up and looked respectfully at this man with gray hair who was over 80 years old. Although he is over 80 years old, Sakura's momentum is still strong. Sakura sat down at the seat vacated by Kong, his expression was not good as he spoke helplessly, this time, the five elders have made up their minds to implement the plan regarding the seven warlords of the sea plan, so the marine can only execute it. After looking at each other, Sengoku and Tsuru said at the same time, it seems that the five elders are going to the control marine. Unfortunately, even Kong, as the fleet admiral, cannot object to the orders from above and must execute them. What's more, even the commander-in-chief from the world government is here, the meaning is already apparent. The marines can only execute this plan, and there is no room for rejection. After everyone left, Kong pounded the table unwillingly and shouted in a low voice, Damn it, do we really have to rely on those pirates to suppress the sea? Similarly, some of the people who went outside, were unwilling, or were sad and angry, but there was nothing they could do. Because they all know that the world is getting more chaotic. However, what's the point of having marines if you can use pirates to fight pirates? What would the world think of the marines? The most outrageous thing is that marine is required to recognize the illegal behavior of seven warlords of the sea, it is really ironic. Not long after, the marines announced the world government's decision and the benefits given to the seven warlords of the sea. Everyone is filled with righteous indignation, especially the believers of absolute justice who want to go to war against the beast pirates. But under the stern orders of the world government, they can only accept it unwillingly. What, the world government wants to establish the seven warlords of the sea? Is this to recruit those evil pirates? 
What about the marine? Isn't there a marine? Why do they need pirates to protect the sea? Ha 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 ha, it's so funny, the marine is going to work with pirates. It seems that marine is no longer that strong as they still have to use the power of pirates. But it's nice to become the seven warlords of the sea. You have the legal right to plunder and no longer have to worry about being caught by the marines. Ha ha ha, I'm going to be one of the seven warlords of the sea, so I can do whatever I want. Is the marine no longer able to protect the sea after Admiral Wagoner died? Can they only rely on pirates? What's going on in this world? Being pirates are actually legal. Useless marines. Bah. I no longer believe in marines' justice, how can they join forces with pirates? That's right. Since pirates are legal, why not be a pirate and be free? Whoa, don't. My parents were killed by pirates, and I want to take revenge on them, why can evil pirates be legal? In just a few days, with the establishment of the seven warlords of the sea policy, the sea was in an uproar, not to mention marine, the people on the four seas and grand line are outraged. Marine's prestige fell to the bottom. The Fishman Island is located 10,000 meters below sea level. Mermaids, the daughters of the sea, these are not myths. Here, you can clearly see the legendary human upper body and fishtail lower body. The underwater world is very beautiful and dreamy, plus the mystical creatures like mermaids make this place the cradle of the world. It is no exaggeration to say that this place may be paradise on earth. However, beauty is also a crime, just like being weak. Without powerful strength, everything is empty talk. Moreover, this world is ultimately the world of human beings. The fishman and mermaids are just races excluded by humans and even discriminated against by humans. They are directly called fish and trampled on and traded at will. It was not until 200 years ago that the Ryugu Palace became a member of the world government affiliated country that it began to establish friendly relations with humans. The Fishman Island kings are also allowed to attend the world summit. But despite this, humans still hold an attitude of disgust towards the fishman, and the problem of discrimination has not been improved but worsened. For this reason, this grievance has been preserved until now. However, a new turning point has appeared and that is the seven warlords of the sea. Yes, as long as Fisher Tiger from the Fishman Island becomes seven warlords of the sea then, they can rely on this to deter pirates. Although the fact that humans will catch mermaids cannot be eliminated, it can definitely be reduced. However, Fishman Island is now caught in a dilemma. Because a super overlord from the New World intends to protect the Fishman Island. The Ryugu Palace looks like a piece of art due to its luxurious and magnificent appearance. You can see countless mermaids living happily and playing around everywhere you look. Here, it is simply a man's paradise. Although they can only be seen but not touched. However, those slender figures and exquisite faces are all simply too beautiful. It's no wonder that countless human traffickers and pirates risk their lives to dive 10, 000 meters below sea level to catch those mermaids. At this moment, the king of Fishman Island is entertaining several people. The current king of the Fishman Island was a mermaid bigger than the average, with thick orange hair and a beard, flame-like tattoos on both arms and thick body hair. At this time, he was laughing while holding a wine glass. On the opposite side, a pirate about thirty years old, with long hair and spider veins on his forehead, which makes him look treacherous and cruel, is also holding a cup and drinking with the king. King Neptune, how is it? Do you understand what Pops means? We, the Fishman Island, are happy to plant the Whitebeard flag. Also, thank you, Squard, for coming all the way. I wonder if you can stay for a few days so that we can thank you. Ha <laughs> ha. Then I'll stay for three days. If it's any longer, Pops will be angry. The guy named Squard had a lustful look in his eyes. If Kaishu were here, he would recognize this person. In the manga, a Kainu instigated him to rebel, making him stab Whitebeard due to a heartbroken heart. Surprisingly, Whitebeard actually sent this guy to Fishman Island. Mr. Squard, Fisher Tiger, intends to be a member of the Seven Warlords of the Sea, and will this affect the Whitebeard Pirates? King Neptune was a little worried and said cautiously. Ha ha ha, don't worry about this, Pops already considered such a thing before sending me here. Squard didn't care and took a sip of wine. Indeed, Whitebeard had explained it before coming here. 
As for why Whitebeard knew about the seven warlords of the sea in advance, as one of the emperors of the sea, he would have his own information channels. Just like beasts pirates, even Mary Geo's information is available. That's good, that's good. King Neptune breathed a sigh of relief. Ah dash, at this moment, the sound of fighting suddenly came from outside the palace. King Neptune and Squard stopped drinking at the same time and looked outside in surprise. No. It's not good, your majesty. The beast's pirate's cataclysm broke in. A plump merman with a single-sided spectacle on his left eye ran in while shouting loudly. What dash, his words shocked King Neptune and Squard at the same time. Beasts Pirates, this is a pirate group that is currently dominating the sea. It's even more terrifying and powerful than the Whitebeard Pirates. Ha ha ha, get out of here for me. Before King Neptune could react, several soldiers were thrown in while screaming. Then, two tall figures walked in. A cataclysm from Beasts Pirates. The Crazy Lion L- Dash, the Hammer Sebastian Dash, they're all famous pirates in New World. Following the appearance of the two, a group of soldiers followed them behind. But they all looked frightened and hesitated to step forward. I don't know what the two cataclysm cadres from the Beast's Pirates are doing here in the Fishman Island. King Neptune looked at the corpses of several soldiers in pain while suppressing his anger. Your Excellency, please don't be angry, we didn't want to hurt them at first, they are my compatriots, after all. Sebastian smiled and said, but his tone was a little carefree, it's just that we have something to discuss with your excellency, but they actually stopped us from coming in. That's a bit too rude. After Sebastian finished speaking, he pointed at the soldiers around him, and then he shrugged his shoulder with a helpless expression. Then I would like to ask you too, is there anything you need to discuss with me? Facing beasts pirates cataclysm cadres, King Neptune had to be patient no matter how unwilling he was. Ha 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 ha. Crazy Lion, L laughed and said, nothing, it's just that Captain wanted the Fishman Island. From now on, this is our beast's pirate's territory.